I promise I remember to remind you. I remind you in case you tend to forget. Forget their cries, tears falling from their eyes while you pretend to forget. Writing my history like it was ever yours in the first place to open, even if it was, were you there? Were you really there? Did you hear them cry, watch them burn when the grounds were shaking? Did you stand with them or did you just run? When the dark clouds were covering above their heads, it's being cut, brought bleeding hands lift up from us and sky to where you lay. Do you remember the children that's feeding from the dead mothers every time you close your mind trying to forget? Do you remember? Do you remember them being cut and thrown in deep holes like some rivers? Wild animals and dogs feeding on their bodies? Do you remember? Do you remember when daughters and mothers were getting raped, sons being burned, fathers being cut into pieces? Do you remember them? Do you just pretend to forget? I remind you. Remind you of a million souls left in clouds. Remind you of a thousand hills covered in blood. Remind you of a hundred days of a living hell in Rwanda. I remind you of the 1994 genocide against Tutsi. Every time you pretend to forget, forget they were here, forget how innocent they are, forget how they were never no animals, forget how their lives were never supposed to be taken, how their smile was never supposed to fade away, forget how they were never supposed to be a target. But you still made them, so I remind you. Hearts racing, hands shaking, bruises rising above my skin due to the heroic memories of days. But still, I will never try to forget, for their memories is all I got. So we hold them close daily. Remember, dream about the laughing, the beautiful moments we had before you took them. So I will still remember them and remind you every time we pretend to forget. I will stand here, no longer afraid to study my truth, this is my history. I remember not in silence, for silence is the Roman genocide. Denial and forgetting is a torture to their spirit of those that I love and lost. So I remember them, for remembering is rest in peace said in different words. So I remember them for the rest of my life, and even those that will live here, they were roots. I will water this plant to live their dreams and pay a tribute to the, all their work and make this world a better place while remembering them but never cease to forget. I remember them because it's rest and peace said in different words. I remember and remind you in case you tend to forget. ngiye kwirirwa abanyarwanda abanyarwanda kazi ndetse n'ishuti z'igihugu mu dukurikiye aho mwa muri hose turabakiriye muri uyo muri uyo muhango wo kwibuka inzira karengane za zijenoside akora abatutsi mu gihembe kimwe 1994 twongeye muri aka kanya guca bugufi dusaba ko Cynthia umutoni yadu yadusengera akaturagiza moko y'Imana murakoze cyane Murakoze cyane gatwa imana dusenge uwiteka mana nziza mana nyingabo mana ikumeye mana nyiri bitangaza turagushimye turaguhimbaje tugushize hejuru mana yacu duhuje umutima nk'abanyarwanda nabifatanyije natwe kwisi hose kwibuka inzira karengane zazi genocide yakora abatutsi muri mata ibyo bikimwe magana 994 turagusaba kwibuka twiyubaka turagushimira cyane kugwa ubutwari bw'ingabo za 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 ku igihugu cyacu n'icura burindi arizo inkotanyi kugwa guharanira leta y'umwe n'ubwiyunge mana nzima turakwinyize ngo ubohore imitima yabagizweho n'ingaruka na genocide yakorewe abatutsi turagusaba kandi kugira ngo udufashe gukomeza kurwanya ingenga bitekerezo yari yo yose ya genocide kugira ngo ibyabaye ntibizongere kuba data miza turagusaba kugira ngo ukomeze ukomeze imitima yacu muri iki gihe cyo kwibuka kandi tugusaba kugira ngo ukomeze kutwibutsa ko uri imana iri kumwe natwe kandi zashobesha kudukoresha ibyo ubutwari nanasabira urubyiruko rwose kugira ngo rukomeze guharanira 
kwigira ku mateka ndetse no kugwanya ikibi kugira ngo kubake u Rwanda rwacu biri mu bushake bwawe turakwinginze rero ngo bane natwe muri gahunda kubitangiye kugeza isoje urakoze mwami imana ko kumva gusenga kwacu n'izina ry'umwami Yesu Kristo nsinde nizeye amen and on with this welcome Welcome. I would like to take uh, this moment uh, to welcome everyone who is with us right now uh, from wherever you're watching us from, whether you're watching us from uh, Facebook or you're watching us from YouTube Live or from Periscope on Twitter. We would like to welcome you all to this year's our past event uh, where we commemorate for the 26th time uh, the genocide against Tutsi that happened in Rwanda in 1994. I'd like to specifically take this moment uh, to welcome our guest of honor, Honorable Minister of Youth and Culture, Madam Rosemary Mbawazi, and His Excellency, the High Commissioner of Rwanda in Canada, Mr. Prosper Higiro. Welcome and thank you for joining us. I would also like to welcome uh, the Rwandan community abroad, wherever you're watching us around the world, uh, and those who are watching us directly from home, from the homeland in Rwanda, uh, friends of Rwanda, we all welcome you and would like to thank you for making the time to be with us uh, in this moment. My name is Remy Dirinjiro, and I am going to be your co MC together with Ngarambe Rita. Najangu Tanjire, Muraka Kanya, Hukona Nai Vuzekare. Mbachira mwemese muri kuturebera kumbuga nkora nyambaga zitandu kanye Yaba Facebook ndetse na YouTube na Twitter Turabachirie Ajangu mfati yu mganya na none na achira Aba ibo zibakuru wa fashu mganya kufata nyanatu Kamuri wihebi komeye Jyo kuibuka inzira karinga nezazi janosida kura batuti Aribo honorable Rosemary Mbabazi Ukurie urubjiru konomotro Ndetse na His Excellency High Commissioner Urwanda muri Canada mugire kaze programme irakomeza um, aho tugiye kuba tubereka ibintu bitandukanye iki gikorwa cyakozwe n'urubyiruko mu zina ryitwa Our Past akaba ari urubyiruko rwatangiye ari uh, ari abantu bakora ibihangano bari ce babona I'm going to use English because we want to reach out to more people so I think it will be easier our past is an initiative that was started by young artists random artists who saw the need to bridge the young and the old generation by teaching those who were born during or after the 1994 genocide against Tutsi. They provide platforms like this where you can chat with leaders, we get opportunities to ask questions and we also contribute by expressing ourselves through art, which are going to be most, which we're going to see most of it on live and um, we have musicians, singers, we have a QA, and a and we encourage each and every one of you who is watching and following us to share the link and re please remember to note down your questions for they will be answered at the end of this program. Thank you so much, Remy, you can take over. Uh, and thank you, thank you, Rita. Uh, this was also co-organized uh, by Canadian Association of Rwandan Youth, which is CARI, specifically CARI Toronto. CARI was formed in Ottawa in 2011 as an initiative of a local Rwandan youth community uh, to build a strong community uh, across regions in Canada. CARI Toronto's uh, vision and mandate uh, is to empower and strengthen the Rwandan diaspora uh, uh, through promoting solidarity, uh, mutual assistance and cultural diversity. So welcome all of you uh, for joining us. I would like to take this moment uh, to welcome Brun and friends who are going to lead us in reading the 100 names of victims of genocide against Tutsi as a representation of all innocent lives that were taken for being who they were. They will also lead us into a moment of silence as we remember all the victims. And after that, they will lead us uh, into lighting the candle of hope. Uh, welcome, Brun uh, and friends. Thank you. 
ngiye gusoma amazina y'inzira kabengane zazize genocide yakoya abatutsi mu gihe kimwe na 1994 hamwe no muryango wa gahamanyi twiruka tashugi celeste rugumiriza felicia karambizi katia kasirabo kalixt kalisa cyril kashugi celeste junior Mukiza Kashugi Anthony Hamwe no muryango wa Rwigimba Teofile turibuka gakuba Aloïs Costasi Nyirumurungi Jean Nepo Musen Gwabuyonza Therese Ivana Jérôme Mukara Benoît Boni Hervé médiatrice aussi amenu muryango wa rwigemba teofile turibuka twifine kayiranga bert ngo mukubwire narcis munyambaraga olivier munyambaraga oreste muire cedric gwabuyonza abantu ba rwigemba na famille Tulibuka Fadira Furaha, Tulibuka Vicent Le Chai Senga Alain, Hamena Lydia Kavira, Tulibuka Dabute Alphonse, Marie Papa, Muka Moussi, Speciose, Marie Mama, Laurent Nalozali. We remember with the families of Yvonne Kalikirkwa, Gahongaire Liberata, Samuel and Christella, Muhigana Felix, Heramirigo Francois, Mukamurara Karitasi, Didier Delphine, Didier Jean de Dieu, Uchéeneza Jean Olivier, Vitaga Mignon, Wamahoro Yvonne, Dilinger Jean Richard, Mukuye Jean Yves, Kavugawa Emerita, Numugaboe, Pesa Zamidiri, Jean Bosco, Nava Nebibatano, Famille Habdiarimana Ignaz, Butera Federic, Mukam Sweni Kezia, Guadidi Thomas, Guadidi Esiri, Nian Sava Josephine, Yves Na Eric, Mukam Bouge Virginia, Sem Naga Dislas, Eugenie Mukamu Dengue, Kazungu Eladi, Dismas Rudigana, Venus, Leonil, Nira Matilida, Innocent Mudiemana, Guidema, Specios, Guidema Oswald, Victorine, Benoit Josephine, Kavarisa Camille, Abdiaiba Apolline, Kavera, Muryango wabikora muki mukarwego mutabazi mugunyi we remember not to forget Amwe mu byango wa Murango Jean Nepon turibuka Kabega Cecilia Kanyawema Estache mukarugari Dativ Kanyawera Chantal Kanyaweya Bruno Nyirabuhuri mutara Gatete, Mugiraneza, Wanege, Tulibuka Karambizi Jean-Marie, Jeannette, Mutesi Aline, Tulibuka Aura Karistraton, Mukanda Hiro Laurentia, Mboga Octave, Mudachumura Juliette, Mchemiza Moïse, Mutoni Ariane, Mukashangabo Atanazi, Mugenzi Safar, Moïse Fabien, Mukamusi Dativ, Tuishime Jean-Marie, Mutoni Wase Rosin, Mugarambe Azarias, Kamuhire Imakire, Matata Mugarambe, Sengiumba, the Chai Seng, Tuluk. God Fate Nota Okiuka, Avatras Jose, Terror of Tuzingimitium, and Chenda Machenda Nakan.
tugiye gucana urumuri rw'ikizere dushimagiza ko bitazongera ku bukundi mu gihugu cyacu cy'u Rwanda Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for leading us into this moment. Uh, and thank you for taking uh, the time to let us remember uh, the victims that we lost during the genocide against the Tutsi, uh, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, in this moment, um, I would like to invite, I'd like to invite I Am Blameless, uh, who is going to uh, present us with a song. I Am Blameless, uh, welcome. And blameless, I think your camera is off. So my camera is disabled. There you are. Thank you, Remy. Um, uh, and uh, as we commemorate the, the, the lives that were lost during the 1994 genocide against Tutsi, uh, this is a song that I wrote in memory of my parents, friends, and all the lives that were lost. And uh, it's called We Brought You Flowers. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I 
Urakoze cyane blameless kubwo icyo gihangana utugejejeho kiremwe ubutumwa bwiza uti nti bizongera koko kandi koko abana abanyarwanda nabandi bose aho kuri kwisose twiyemeje kurwanira tuvuga ati nti bizongera kubaho ukundi ibyabaye uh, thank you so much blameless for the incredible message and for using your art to serve or not only Rwanda but humanity we believe that as youth, if we come together, the genocide will never happen again, not just in our country, but all around the world that we fight for human peace. So thank you so much. Um, I would like to take this moment to welcome Maurice, who is a, a writer and also um, a person who was born past genocide with uh, one parent. And uh, welcome you, Maurice, and uh, the floor is yours. Give us your testimony. Um, hi everyone. So, um, uh, good evening to the people that are on the side, uh, on my side in Rwanda and, uh, good afternoon to the people who are following us from Canada. Um, I just like really want to thank, uh, the people, the organizers for this initiative because it's really, really important um, that we as the youth remember our past to be able to live the present and build a better future for our country. So thank you guys for this initiative, for the people who started it in Rwanda, for you guys in Toronto to be uh, doing it right now. 
And uh, thank you for allowing me to be here and uh, share my story with uh, the people that are following us. Uh, like they said, my name is Maurice Nagunjira. Uh, I am uh, a storyteller and uh, I use art to tell stories uh, through you know, uh, film production, uh, theater and poetry. Today, I'm going to tell a story just like um, when uh, they asked me to talk about um, my story, I just like, you know, I thought I knew what I was going to talk about. But this morning when I woke up, you know, I, I honestly did not know what I was going uh, to be talking about here. But then, um, this this was triggered by uh, basically like they approached me because of uh, something I uh, I posted a while ago when uh, some of my friends started an uh, initiative on uh, Twitter that uh, were called uh, Dear Survivors and I shared the story of my mother who survived the genocide with me um, and. In that story, I talk about her greatness. I talk about how my mother is the inspiration of my life. And when I wanted to look at what um, I wanted to tell the people here, I just like, um, I just thought of how could I define my story growing up with my mother. Uh, and then I came up with uh, three to four stories that I am going to share tonight. I'm going to be to make sure that uh, they're brief and precise. And the first story is, I think the first word that comes to my mind whenever I think about my mother, um, which is resilience. You know, when people ask me about, you know, Rwanda and anything, I say that I grew up with my country. And that's actually very, very true because 25 years ago, our country saw one of the most catastrophic events that have any other country or any other humans have ever seen. 25 years ago, there was a genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda. And our country started from, you know, from the ashes to today. So 25 years ago today, it had just been a week since my father was killed. And 25 years ago today, it was literally 20 days before my birth. I was born on uh, May 9th, 1994. So that basically means I had almost 27 days where my story was being written before I was even born. So, you know, like uh, when I talk about resilience and the story of my mother, my mother before the genocide, um, she tells me that she was a housewife who, whose husband was a, a business person and had you know, a beautiful life. She waited for the husband to get home and you know, like uh, make him food and, and everything was beautiful to her life. She had one daughter one little daughter who was uh, two years old at the time and was expecting a baby. The two of them were really uh, young and newlyweds who were in love. My mom always tells me how my dad was uh, her first love. And I, I honestly believe before, um, if you were to talk to my mom, 
uh, when April started, she would tell you that like she was the happiest person, but the universe had um, other things planned. So on uh, the 12th of April, 2000, uh, 1994, I'm sorry, uh, my dad was killed. And, um, you know, I was born later and uh, my mom passed through a lot, lost most of her family members, her husband, and a lot of people. And, um, you know, one thing that I always say that to me defines like a story that um, that I and the kids who have been raised, who were born during the genocide or born right after the genocide and were raised by, um, by the people who survived the genocide, is this idea that the genocide happened in a hundred uh, in a hundred days, but a hundred days. If I give you right now a hundred days, it's not enough time for you to change your life completely. But when the genocide was over, people like my mom did not have time to cry to the people they loved that they had lost. They didn't have time to feel sorry for themselves. They didn't have time to go to therapy and talk about their problems. So my mom's therapy was to raise us. She invested every single thing that she had to make us happy. Our happiness meant our happiness. And she made sure that our happiness was going to be, we we're going to smile every day so that on a daily basis, at the end of the day, she can go to bed smiling and let the happiness surpass her pain. But as a kid, I've seen it so many times when April would come. My mom never wanted to listen to the radio, never wanted to see anything that made noise because somehow it triggered the memories of the 1994. So even though all of this time, she, you know, she had found a way to like make sure that she invest in growth, uh, in making sure that she sees us growing up. But at a time like this, growing up, it was so much pain. I could see it in her eyes, even though she wanted to hide it from me. So, a while ago, I talked to somebody and we we're talking about this idea of, uh, you know, how do we pass memories to the next generation? And as a person who was born in the genocide and barely know anything about what happened, I was, uh, I was asked to, you know, the question of like, how did I learn about the genocide? And I said, to me, I learned about the genocide by the lack of information from my mother because my mother couldn't tell me the story of what happened because if it was up to her, she could forget any of that ever happened. As a matter of fact, my mother does not remember her birthday. And it's something that I thought was not true until I went to university and learned about something called um, memory um, repression, um, where basically when people have trauma and they try, memory suppression, I'm sorry, when they try to suppress their memories, they tend to forget some of the things. But now going to my second story, my mother always said one word. This is a word in Kinyaranda that so many people have heard from either their parents that 
had the, that before they died, they told them Muzala Bagab. Um, this is something that every single kid who was raised by a survivor was told because there was no way my mother was going to let us, you know, be whatever. So she made sure that Kotuba uh, Bagab. And this, this, this was not just, I later on grew up to see when I, when I, it, it, Later on, I think um, I was in high school because I grew up with so much pain and I learned about the genocide, like I said, from the lack of information from my house because my mom wouldn't tell me stories because they brought so much memories. Um, and, you know, like I had to go do research. I had to like watch TV and learn about the genocide from because I, I was always a curious kid. But then I grew up with so much pain um, towards the person who had, who had killed my dad. And at some point, as a kid, I really, really felt like if I had the chance, I would avenge myself. But um, later towards, um, I think when I went to senior four, senior five, I went to a school called Agauza Shalom. And uh, most of the people that I was with were the people who, uh, the kids who were orphans from the genocide. And through talking, you know, with them and everything, some of them were even, never knew their parents had raised their siblings and all of this. And I looked at the 500 of us who were there and I said, if I was to do revenge right now, what would happen in the future? And it came to me. See, the thing is, I'd be creating a cycle that would go on and on and on. So I had to break the cycle. I had to forgive not for the person who killed my parent, my dad, and uh, you know, like most of my family members, but I had to forgive because that's what it means, Kubu Mugam. When I was a kid and my mom was beating me up when I did little mistakes and said, I didn't understand what it meant. But this time I understood because Kubu Mugabo meant to understand that I, as a survivor, would never want to see this happening again. So when we say never again, this is where it comes from. This is what it means to me. So transitioning to my third story, what Kwibuka means to me. A few days ago on the 6th of April before the commemoration started, my mom asked me, she came and said, um, can we pray at, at midnight? And I said, uh, why are we praying? And um, she looked at me and she said, Kuberako, Uyumusi, Ncheza mairugwe kuwa ndikumwe naba naba anje, kandi mga kuzemura abagabo, imya kamakumya bilinitanu, so my mom told me, right now she's very happy that we are old enough. The kid who she was pregnant with and the kid who she was carrying during the genocide are now 26 and 28. My sister is uh, married with one kid and I just graduated university and have actually received my first check. So to my mom, that was a reason to celebrate. So I, 
I am part of the generation that when Kibuka happens, do not have memories that we're associated with. We don't know the people who died. I don't know my father, but I remember him. Different from my mom who has seen people he lo she loved, people she grew up seeing dying and she remembers them. She remembers the memories she had with them. So when we say remember and uh, renew, my mother right now, the person who 20 years ago couldn't even listen to the radio during this period was literally the same person who was telling me what amazing uh, radio shows she was following in this Kwibuka. The person who couldn't even smile during this period is thankful to God that her kids are grown up now. So um, to me, when I remember, I, I remember these people, I remember what happened. And this brings me to the end where I say, where do we go from here as a youth, um, as the youth of Rwanda is we remember and we say never again, but we don't say never again. We practice what we preach. And we say, this can never happen again. We can never let anybody else suffer the pain our mothers have endured. We can never let anybody grow up with our parents, just like we did. So we choose to break the cycle, just like in Hotani gave us the example and never went for revenge, but rebuilt the nation and united people. We unite. But most importantly, because this is an, uh, an event that was organized by, to, uh, by the diaspora, and uh, the people in Toronto. I lived for four years and a half in the US in Arizona and living as a diaspora, I know how much we tend to be detached from what is happening because we feel like, you know, we pay taxes in the, ne in the countries that we're in. So we feel detached to our homeland, but this does not only concern people who are in Rwanda. It concerns all of us as Rwandans, because if it happens, it affects all of us. So I speak to the diaspora people who are listening to me, and I say, learn your history, because because this is the most important thing. Learn your history, because the people who deny the genocide hide in the false facts. They're good at writing essays and they have people they work with. So if you want to counter their arguments, learn your history, fact check them, and let us spread the message of hope. Let the resilience of our survivors, our mothers, our friends, our family members who survived and never gave up, guide us always. The Katuzaba Bagabo, and let us remember and make sure that we build a nation that will never ever see this. Marcoze Chane, Davi Furiza Gukomera, Kandi Gukomeza, Gutkwara, Mukabinwari, Marcoze Chane. Urakoze cyane Maurice kubwibwo guhamya bwizo tugejejeho uh, thank you so much Maurice for all the for the great amazing message not only just the message of resilience but of heroism your mother is an incredible woman and not just her but other people like her thousands of randans who have suffered and endured the pain of the history and thank you for reminding us the youth that it's our responsibility to carry on the torch
church to always be our governor and uh, to protect the history of our country as we present. Thank you. The Jirango Ababa Shijakova Tumbise, Ohamia Gamoris, Yarra Havuga, Okuno Mamawe, Arien Huadi, Aho Yabuze, Omufashawe, Arwe Papa Morris, Ya Yapuya Murijano Side, Yakuraba Tutsi Mujimitum Magana Chenda Mountenda Nakani, Akaba, Arikoma Moka, Veraba in Huara Gakomeza Kuiji Shaba and Nabe, Kuta. Kutiba yirwa mateka ndetse no kuyasigasira baharanira ko igihugu igihugu batuyemo cyangwa no muryango nyarwanda batazanyura muri ibyo bibazo again so urakoze cyane Maurice na jango sabe ku hanga kwima badushyiramo nk'indirimbo bidufashe kuba twese twumviye message dufata umwanya wo kwibuka neza ibyabaye Because I value my past The memories of yesterday Can never be changed But they give me a reason To live again There is a reason I am here today but there is no reason you lost your lives. You were called abusive names, deprived of rights to be humans, slain because of who you were born. I am lighting a candle. As the sign of resilience I'm paying a tribute You left a legacy And I'm my fruit from the love you saw Let's say never again Never again to genocide There should be no war There should be no genocide You were taken away from me too soon If I had one wish He will be seeing you again Today we're strong men And women even though You are not here to see We're carrying on To make you feel proud out there Watching down our Kind of as the sign of resilience, I'm paying a tribute. You left a legacy, and I'm my fruit from the love you saw. Let's say never again. together is one we can make sure genocide never happens again history should be told and passed on to further generations let's all stand up and all sing out never thank you 
Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much again to Maurice for your testimony. Uh, that was uh, definitely an amazing teaching uh, moment for us uh, to learn about your life, to learn about your resilience and the resilience of your mother and how, of course, you just made it make even a much bigger meaning. And we'd like to thank you for definitely making the time to share with us uh, such a very personal uh, story of yours. At this moment, I would like uh, to go to the next event. Tije Kujira Chiganiro, Tije Zguaho, and Jean Michel Habineza. Jean Michel Habineza has been involved uh, in the work of genocide prevention and reconciliation over the past 10 years. He was one of the founders of Peace and Love Proclaimers, a youth organization aimed at creating a change in Rwanda. And that organization became famous for starting the Walk to Remember, a commemorative work uh, that brings young people from all over the world to end mass atrocities. Uh, for those who know it, uh, Walk to Remember is, is, has been even attended by His Excellency the President. Um, and, uh, Jean-Michel is going to lead us in a discussion about um, how to remember, especially for young people who were born uh, maybe after genocide or during genocide or who were still very young uh, around 1994. How do we remember? How do we keep uh, that memory? Uh, so I would like to uh, give Jean-Michel uh, the floor. Also to remind you all that uh, please, if you have questions, you can ask them on YouTube, you can uh, ask them on Facebook or uh, on Twitter with the, ha uh, the hashtag or past 2020. And uh, we are very lucky that you know, um, we have a panel that uh, we're going to have the minister, the high commissioner and, uh, and the panelists who are going to give us discussion, be able to answer and discuss and talk, uh, which is uh, the essence of this event. Uh, Jean-Michel, uh, please welcome. Um, thank you, uh, Remy. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to say um, thank you for inviting me uh, to come here. Uh, it's uh, both an honor and uh, a privilege to be uh, here and to discuss some of these issues that I think are very, very important. Um, what I wanted to do today is to discuss a question of how do we remember our past uh, while also building a brighter future? I think that we cannot, especially as our generation, uh, we cannot divorce uh, the two. The two elements have to work together. So in Rwanda right now, uh, which is um, about 26 years later after the genocide, Rwanda finds it itself in a very uh, interesting uh, situation where 70% of the population is made up of people that are under 35, which means that a majority of them were either very young during the genocide or they were not even born uh, during the genocide. And with that comes not only an opportunity, but also a challenge. An opportunity because we have a generation that did not experience the worst of atrocities, but then also a challenge of how do we remember things that we did not experience ourselves. But then secondly, how do we make sure that what happened in Rwanda does not happen again? You see our generation, in my opinion, our generation is tasked with such a heavy burden of a genocide that none of us were participants in, but that we have to figure out a way to deal with that problem of genocide. Having been involved with a lot of events, um, mainly Walk to Remember, but even helping in different, uh, many different commemoration events, one of the things that you tend to hear from, um, from either the older generation or other people, they tend to say that when young people come to these events, that they're just coming to hang out. Or some of them said, it's not Walk to Remember, it's Walk to Meet or it's Walk to Chill. And part of the things, though it's understandable why people would say that, I think that people miss sometimes that there has been a shift and there needs to be a little bit of nuance when we talk of commemoration, 
when it comes to young people. You see, the, the truth of the matter is that it's not that young people don't want to remember. It's not that young people don't have anything else to do and they are, they are against uh, events such as um, commemoration events. But the truth of the matter is, is because they do not know how to understand their position in such a historical event. And what I want to do today is to maybe give us an idea of some of the things that I would like us to think about, especially as a generation that was either too young during the genocide or were not even born yet. The first thing that I would say is that memory is very, 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 very important. I cannot stress this, um, I cannot stress this um, strongly enough, but one of the things that it says, I mean, a lot of people say that if you, uh, those who don't remember are vulnerable to a relapse. So if you don't remember and you never learn your history, for, uh, your lessons from history, you're prone to, um, to redo the same things. But that is a quote that talks about general things. But when it comes to genocide, I will cite the work of um, Gregory Strunton. He's most famous for having come up with the 10 stages that lead to genocide. And his part in stage number nine is the extermination and where people are basically killed after many stages of dehumanization and pluralization and other different things that I won't be talking about today. But he says that the last stage is denial. He says that the reason to why denial happens is because the perpetrators and their friends want to remove guilt from what they did. The reality is that perpetrators and those who help them want to wipe themselves uh, clean from all the wrongs that they have done. And what that means is that they are trying to change not only history, but they are trying to change their position in history. One of the worst thing about denial is that denial is another form of genocide. Because if survivors have survived the killings, what is worse than to basically let them know that they are, what happened to them is because of them or that what happened um, to them actually never happened. So denial is not an afterthought of genocide, but rather denial is intrigued. It's, it's, it's an in, important part of the genocide, of the genocide project. So it is very easy, according to many researchers, to show how denial happens. The first thing is, I'll give you a few ways that denial happens so that it equips us to be able to become uh, those that are fighting denial. The first thing that denial, the ways that it happens is that people attack the truth tellers. People attack the truth tellers. And you will find, by the way, the denial doesn't happen just after the genocide. Even during the genocide, one of the things that you will notice is that while it was happening, people were masking and saying, no, there are no killings that are happening. It's just uh, things that are being done by a few people, but there is no genocide. So the first tactic of deniers is they attack the truth tellers. So if you are planning to um, almost you know, attack the, the, the or you know, uh, just like Maurice was saying that if you are planning to respond to some of these things, the first thing that is going to happen to you is people are going to attack you and they would say that you are sent by government or you are sent by this or you're sent by that. Again, there is no, there's nothing new there. The second thing that people do, the second tactic is to deny or minimize the evidence of genocide. And, and that is, again, some of these things might look very, uh, very simple, such as reducing the number of people that were killed. So you hear sometimes people saying that it was just 500,000 people, or some people even saying that it was um, 800,000 people. But what people are doing in that process is they're denying and minimizing, they're minimizing the, the extent of the evil that is genocide. The next tactic that people tend to use is to deny the genocidal intent. And to deny the genocidal intent is to basically say that people died, but it was not because that, um, it was not because there was the intent of genocide. It's important to understand that genocide has a very, very specific definition. And in order for something to qualify as genocide, there must be uh, the intent to destroy in whole or in part a group of people due to their race, ethnicity, um, and you know, many different things. So part of what uh, people might tend to do is to basically say, no, there was no, uh, there was no genocidal intent in what happened in 94. 
And one of the things that you would notice uh, when people say that is that uh, that's when people would actually say, oh, what happened was all of the results of the, the plane dying. And then they would deny a lot of all the buildup that happened prior to 1994. The next thing tactic that people use is they blame uh, and, and they call it a civil war. Again, uh, when they talk in Rwanda, they say Inambara, right? Chango Gichan, Inambara. But here's the difference between a civil war and a genocide. A civil war is between two equally powerful uh, sides. So civil wars can be on uh, political issues, they can be on land, they can be on so many different things. But when we talk of a genocide is when a government is intentionally destroying a group of people, not because of political ideologies, but rather because of their race and ethnicity. So we have to know that we cannot call it the Rwandan civil war. It is the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. And it's important for us to do that because by the way, how people get punished because, uh, because of genocide is different from how people get punished because of a civil war. The next thing is that people blame the victim. People blame the victim. And when they blame the victim, this is what they're saying. They would say that the reason to why this happened, it was because the victims have uh, some sort of evil intent. That the reason to why it was just, that's when they call it self-defense. That's the argument that we are only, we only attacked them because it was self-defense and this is what they were doing. Or they would say uh, they were Ijitsu or they were attacking, the, they were enemies of so. All of those things, again, remember, is just to blame the victim and to say that the victims are basically responsible for what happened to them. But the last way that we deny genocide or people deny genocide is this theory of the double genocide. Double genocide has one, one, um, one intent. It is to demonize the victims, but also to, uh, to turn perpetrators into victims. So you see what they're doing is to basically turn it around and say, well, yes, uh, it might be true that this happened, but this also happened, right? And then when you say double genocide um, um, uh, theories, basically you're, you're almost minimizing what happened, but you're also tw twisting and changing history. And the double genocide, again, um, is something that uh, we hear a lot. So people are saying that it was a genocide against the Tutsi and also a genocide against the Hutu. And the reason they're doing it is, again, to demonize the victims and continue the projects of genocide. So it's important for us, if we were to fight against denial, it's important for us to not only equip ourselves with understanding the strategies that are used by those who deny genocide, but it's also important for us to be able to understand um, our history and the way that uh, genocide took place and to really do an almost, I would say, close to an academic study, even though it's wrong, but to do an academic study to understand how genocides happen, to see that denial is definitely a part of this project of genocide. And the question is then, how do we remember? It's important to remember first um, in the first way, I think it's important for us to understand how genocide happens. What makes a person kill their neighbors? But then it's also important that we don't forget the human element to this crime or to this atrocity. You see, I think someone said that in Rwanda, it was not one million people that were murdered. It was one person after another and after another. What genocide does is that it takes the lives of people and it turns them into numbers. Because if someone says, someone can say a million people died, and sometimes it's hard for us to wrap ourselves around the number. But when we hear stories such as the one that Maurice talked about, then we are able to humanize those that passed away because they were born differently. So it's important for us in our remembering to always, always remember human beings and not numbers. It is also to remember people by their names. Because you see what the genocidal project does is that it makes some people believe that they are not human. It makes them believe that they are not human. They are just Tutsis and they're part of one group. But when we remember, just like we've done it before, citing and remembering names of people, we are saying that people are far more important than any label that we can put on them. So how do we remember? We remember by giving names to the dead. We remember by remembering the personal stories of people. But then we remember also by understanding that we must equip ourselves 
against the process of denial. But here's the problem of when we talk of remembering in terms of the post-genocide generation. One of the things that you will notice is that although in Rwanda we have been very good at having communal um, remembrance. So there are, there are uh, different ways that we remember through the memorials, through the commemoration events. One of the things that I can say, especially myself working with a lot of young people, is that many know the history of Rwanda, but very few know their own personal histories. One of the things that happened, and again, I would like to say that that is very, very normal. I will give an example of what happened in the Holocaust. Right after the Holocaust, there was about a period of 20 years where a lot of the German families were very silent about their role in the Holocaust. No family ever talked about what happened because many of them wanted to just go on and do other things. But then in 1968, in the late 1960s, a lot of the young people started demanding that their parents tell them not only what happened, but what their responsibilities were. So here's the reason. Many young people say that, yes, I know that a genocide happened. And I know that my parents, during the period of April, I know that their mood changes. I know that something changes, but I have never had the courage to talk to them about what happened to them. Many young people ask themselves, ask their parents, but what happened? Why, how come I don't have an auntie? How come I don't have a grandfather or a grandmother? And the truth of the matter is many of us, all our families are silent about our own history. It might be easier for us to come and say that you should get our parents to speak. But here's the thing, most parents do not talk about their own personal history because they want to protect their children against their own wounds. They want to protect their children against their own wounds. The second thing is our parents sometimes are so broken and so hurt that they do not want to transfer a lot of the traumas that they have to their children. They feel that if their children were to know what happened to them, that not only would the parents not survive the process of opening up, but secondly, they are not sure that their kids will be well equipped to deal with what they will learn. So the first thing is parents do it as a way of protecting us. But the second thing is parents sometimes also do it because they want to protect themselves against the possible roles that they had during the genocide. That role might not be, um, their role might not be something that is active, but their role could be the fact that many of them saw things happening and they did nothing about it. So the question still remem re remains, it's important for us, uh, it's important for us not only to remember past events, but it's also important for us to remember past ideas because the problem too many times is we remember events and dates, but we don't really remember what uh, led to that. And as I'm coming to the end of my talk, I would say maybe another thing that we need to think about is that not only in our generation do we have to struggle and really uh, try to figure out how to talk about the past, but it's also important for us to think about the future. This is very, very important because our generation, I would like to say that in our generation, in our parents' generation, we had perpetrators and victims because there are those who killed and those who were killed. But in our generation, I say we are all victims. We are all victims because we are paying for something that none of us had a role in building. So the question which I'd like to leave you with is how do we rebuild? How do we rebuild the breach that our parents created? How do we rebuild the, the, the polar, or, or how do we rebuild the, the issues and the, and, and the countries that our parents destroyed? How do we come together as young people. And part of it is also understanding that since none of us had a role to play in that, can we accept that all of us are victims? But if all of us are victims, then how do we make sure that our children and our children's children do not go through the same thing? I always say that there's two things that are going to make us do that. The first one is humility. Humility comes from accepting that each one of us is a particular being that experience history differently and understanding that none of us have the full control on the truth and none of us has the full control on, on, um, on, on pain. That was going to be important. 
can we accept that another person suffered? Does accepting that another person suffered mean that we didn't suffer? Can we also remove this idea that the son of a perpetrator is also a perpetrator? Because the problem with that idea is that in the past, that is exactly what people said, that the, the reason to why in our culture, it was always refused to kill babies, but they killed babies because they said that a child of a snake in quotation, who, when they had dehumanized Tutsis is a snake too. So can we change that idea that, this, that we are our parents? Can we change the idea that just because our parents did or did not do something, then that means that we are also responsible for what they did. But here's the last thing that it will require. It will require courage. It will require courage, a different kind of courage, not the courage that takes up arms, that goes and fights, but rather courage that I'm willing to give room to people who have a different history from me, that I'm willing to go beyond what is accepted in sometimes our polar society, that I'm willing to make a step towards the other side, however I define them to be. And I'll end by saying all of that is something that none of us would be rewarded for, but it's something that is needed if we want to make sure that our children don't have to go through the same things. And on this day, I just want to say, may we always remember but also with a duty to make sure that what happened doesn't happen again, but it falls on our shoulders because what we do today will determine what our children have to uh, endure in the future. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Jean-Michel Havineza kubgubyo izo nama icyo kiganiro utugiriye mu byukuri nuze sinzi nimba nabyita ibineza neza byo kumva ko hari ikizere kinshi kiri mu rubyiruko muri make ibyo waruvuze nimba hari bike navuga kugira ngo abatabashije kubyumva hagira icyo batoramo yagize ati ntabwo kuba utaruhari genocide ba ntabwo bivuze ko bitakureba amateka naya mu kinyarwanda ivuga neza bati utazi yaba ntamenya ni yagana so twe nk'abana abanyarwanda ni ni responsibility yacu kugira ngo tumenye neza amateka yacu kandi ngo abari kurwanira kwibuka inzira karengane no kurwanira amahoro y'igihugu no kumenya neza ko ntabwo bizaba mu mahoro nta utsinda urugamba tarwanye urugamba vuga ntaga urugamba rwo guterura ngo ibyuma ngo natwe tujye kwihorera cyangwa ngo tujye kurwanya urugamba vuga n'urwo kumenya amateka yawe ukavuga ukuri mbese uga 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 playing a role yawe nk'umunyarwanda uvuga ati twabonye ibyo cyo gucyacu cyanyuzemo twabonye uburyo bababaye twabonye uburyo ibigo by'impfubyi byuzuye twabonye uburyo urwanda rwuzuye abapfakazi ndetse nibazo byose byabaye imiryango twabuze none turifuza ko abana bacu batazanyura muri bino nimba ahuri unezerewe nimba ahuri ufite ibyukeneye byose arasaba ngo ntiwirebeho gusa ahubwo urebe ngo ese igihugu cyangwa isi ndwanirira umwana wanje yayishimira mutsayijemo ah uh, in summary in english i would like to say thank you so much jean michel habineza for that great amazing incredible uh, advice to the young people uh, i would like to move forward welcoming imanzi trista uh, who will be giving us a poem. Thank you, Imanzi. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm Imanzi Le Poet, uh, Imanzi Tristarsen, using Imanzi Le Poet as a stage name. I'm an artist. I'm going to recite my poem called Kanyarwanda uh, Mgene Mon. Okay. Gukunda nivi nsaba gukundwa, nizi gutangi chona hawa. Lega nundu rimi nirumge, nibari juru hunu kuko kirwango rwaganze ryo sano tukaryubika iki kwitsi ikimvura kwisakarira muri ma twiki kigega twitabire mu ronga wa musacyo atambika gurabura mwije imodi kigihugu cyose ibihozo by'umukiri mibarogo amarasa tembe igihugu cyose kwaho byitwa indoto bisambu n'urubingo bababyeyi umuhimbe rutemba no mu mvura yaragwiye imivira temba ariko izo byongera kuva joro ryaragwiye gishukukiraniha ariko kandi buracya Kwa kwitumba ni gukura impeshyi no kwa kugwari ngukura ubutware 
ubisinye nyamara ari inkotanye za marere zimwe zabyirusa zitsinda ka rwabugiri zaraje zifata igihugu za gari ya genocide zizarushagara na mako zarushaga expert ntwaro se oya zarushaga abo bose kumenyeza irwanira iminsi na yicura burindi abiri abice barebera batuye iki kitwa tirwaze nyama bari ho basahurira mu nduru uwo muntu ndanga gacire buze mu muntu iminsi jana yose th th contre t mais c'est pas même pas ctb oui b je dis ces peuples blancs sont venus et ont tout chamboulé ce qui était classe sociale sont devenus des races et sont devenus des étrangers les uns aux autres étranger à ton père étranger à ton fils étranger à ta femme en fait étranger à ton adn mais aujourd'hui il n'y a plus de h et au carré nous sommes tous les airs j'ai dit nous sommes tous les rwandais sans t h t comme des races mais avec le rwanda qui sont fiers de Rwanda no rwano ne suba burya security and safety is a morning cup of coffee on a daily basis freedom and liberty is what is at on each meal and love and unity is every day main course the strand of today ariko byo nibikwemera gukubira genocide kuri abatutsi gakorwa mahanga rebera ni genocide kuri abatutsi urasisubira na muri jamoko sitsemba bwo ku genocide kuri abatutsi ni jumbi kimwe wagana kimwe mu mwaka cyenda nakane ndi nti giru Rwanda twe ni rwo Rwanda bahombeho maze intera twese bimwe plus jamais mais plus jamais ne pouvait être seulement un dicton mais un monde de vie pour vivre en tant que rendu plus jamais la cause est tiens la cause est tiens mais le poète la cause est tiens que quoi le poème tu dis j'ai géro ne dire que c'est tout à venir quand à quand tu vois c'est tout à venir quand à th un gars il te dira à venir quand au bout de mon venir quand à gâteau kandi nibyo koko nako tugomba gupfobya genocide yakora abatutsi mwaka 1994 na kane ah bifuza kuri no mwanya kugira ngo twakire ah lak ndunguye nawe ugiye kutugeza aho buhamya bwe lak ndunguye numwe mu rubyiruko rwarokotse genocide yakora abatutsi ndetse nyuma akaza kunyura mu ngaruka za genocide mu buzima busanzwe e tujye ku mwaka rero agiye kudusangiza muri make ubuzima nyizemo lak dunguye karibu microphone ya will mute okay bravo neza Hey, okay. Okay. Braha neza mbanje kubasuhuza mwese mudukurikiye ariko byumwe ariko muri gihe twibuka ko nshema 26 abaze genocide yakore abatutsi eh nabwo babyoroke rero kugira ngo wibuke cyangwa se wumva amateka y'ukuntu abantu bishwe ariko nina ngombwa ko tumenye amateka yacu eh muri mwanya rero ngiye kubasangiza mu ncamake ubuzima nanyuzemo mu gihe cya genocide ndetse na nyuma gatoya mu gihe nyuma yuko genocide yakora nitwa ndungu ya lucky muri hano mu karere ka Kicukiro navukiye mu karere ka Huye aho zari komine gishamvu ubu ni mu karere ka Huye ariko genocide yakora abatutsi yabaye muri hano Kicukiro centre mu benshi murahazi hano neza muri kicyo kiro centre aho batisoko ariko mbere ho gato ya yuko genocide yakora abatutsi itangira aho twari dutuye aho navukiye gishamvu mu murenge wa Shori ni hafi na nyakibanda grass mer nyakibanda ndi muto hari maje nkunda kwibuka cyane muri cyo gihe mbona bisi iriho abantu ntera hamwe abantu benshi cyane buzuye basakuza bakora ibintu biri bizare cyane cyo gihe rero iyo image ntabwo yigeze imvamo ariko nyuma naje kumenya ima genocide yo kubambira goko arabaga bagiye muri mitingi mu gihe bategurwa genocide yakora abatutsi image ntabwo igivamo muri ngewe rero muri 1992 nibwo twaje kigali hano cyo kiro centre na mama ndetse na mumwe wangi ko gapirote eh apo sigari gutare ko yakoraga na mushi cyo ngitwa Claudina hanyuma muri cyo gihe cya genocide itangiye ndibuka yuko ku itariki 6 
bamaze indege ya wahoze ari preza w'igihugu je venera bya imana maze guhanurwa nibwo ku mugoroba haje mu rugo abajandarume baza batwara abafata mama baramusohokana ubwo nanyina ndi umwana muto ya ko nari fite ndya fikuze imyaka 63 nari fite imyaka 5 ubuki na mezi ndasoba ariko magara mu ryango ubona bamujyanye irya gatoya bamushyira gati yabo bamubaza ariko ubwo mu maya cyungano gana ahantu ndi nange kuri ndi kureba hana gye ariko mbona abantu basirikare arimo bafite za pistole hanyuma nyuma hazundi umujandari mu wari utuye hafi ni wacu aza aja sanga ni mama kuko yarasanzwa muzi amusaba yuko bamurekura kagenda mbona avuye muri abangwa ari kwazana nabo ahita mubwira ngo ngo ko mugende ngo sinongere kubona mucaracara aho ngo umushakandi hano mujya ko nje cyarankanze ariko muri umugoroba nabwo numvise amasasu nibuka yuko mu misi yari yabanjije mbere nubundi najaga nkunda kubona abantu barimo baritoza ngo baritoza kurasa ariko sinari nzi byari byo kuri iyo myaka yanje kuko sinari nzi irimo biraba eh kuri uwo mugoroba rero mama yaragarutse agaruka mu nzu ariko afite ubwo babwinshi ubwo aricara mu ntebe na go twari tuzi kuno bimirimo biragenda then cyakurikiye nuko bafashe intebe zo muri saro hari ari misego ya misego bakora mu ntebe bayikura mu ntebe tujyana harana inyuma hari ari toilette yo hanze twishyira muri toilette iyo toilette rero yaraga toilette gatoya mise go hose mama jamo tumufunje namo ni ngufuri nyo ngo rero twe twasigaye twasubiye mu nzu nari ngiye nabandi bana bari bakobwa batoya kuri ngiyewe tuguma mu nzu mama na waguma muri toilette twamufunje arimo kugira ngo haramusagize abandi bantu bagaruka niba musanga aho nga ubwo rero yatubwiye yuko ni hagira abandi bantu baza tuvuga ko tutaza hano ababyeyi bagiye bari abantu baje kubatwara wagumye mu nzu bwo nasaga nko ari ngiye mukuru muri bo muri abo bana ubwo nange ntangira kugira ubwo bariko nibaza ibirimo biraba hanyuma ubwo mama yaragenda yirwa gahango wo muri toilette ariko nko ku mugoro bakaza kuza kature tukafungura akaza kature bakongera gasubira hari akunwa amazi hanyuma ku itariki 11 mu gitondo kandi nibwo twa twavuye aho ngo twari turi ano kicukiro ni inyuma yiso ko gato ya muri amakaritse inyuma no twari dutuye duca inyuma ya house uni ku gipango cy'umugo witwa Gabernard no hafi no kwa ruhanga ngabo ubwo rero twagana ko turi kugana muri eto kicukiro aho ingabo za zari ziri duca yo ariko akaba hari umudamu wari umuturanyi wari inshuti na mama aho ngaho tuhageze nkasanga uwo mama yaranatwite sanga bamwishe bamushyize mu muferege wagendaga mama azine bamutsindagiyemo na maraso menshi bwo no bwambere mu buzima bwa nari mbonye umuntu wapfuye ariko none narasobanukirwa ibintu ibyo ari byo ngo ndebye hirya mbona umugabo we nanone yari yapfuye nawe ariho umurambo uri ngo mbaza mama mama arambira ngo bapfuye ko mama aragiye kure nimba haruki muzima arambira ngo bapfuye bafata kaboko ngo tugende nabo bana babiri tugeze hagati hano hari ipangu bibiri kibangu cyo kwa Benari ara cyo kiro Santa nyira ngo bahazi baramuzi n'undi tuba kwa Rwanda ngabo ngo bari station ya Inesi hagati aho ngaro harimo ikiruhura kinini tugica ku ruhande tuzamvu tugiye muri eto kicyo kiro ariko tutaragira neza ku muryango tubona abantu batubwira ngo ngo abantu bari muri eto kicyo kiro ba ingabo za minwari zagiye ubwo batubwira ko nta bantu bari kwinjiramo ubwo tuguma aho ngaho tuguma hafa ngo na ito kicukiro ari kutarambuka umuhanda hagati aho ngo y'ibyo bipangu bibiri dusa nkaho nkabategereje ko bavuga ko abantu bagiye guhungira bagana i Burundi inzira iri anzira za muganya za kicukiro ariko tuza kubona igikundi cy'abantu bari kuzamuka bagana nyanza za kicukiro ubwo rero natwe twagiye muri abo bantu baraduzamo kubagana nyanza kicukiro ariko tugeze hari ya centre kicukiro centre abungu bona hari bank populaire ahantu hibya gato ya hari ahantu hari hari bagiro 
ndetse n'ikintu cy'icyuzi cyari gihari icyo nibuka cyo nuko nibuka ko twahasanze imyende ya gisirikare isa nka yirunza aho ngo ariko hari abantu barimo barayandika n'abamba ya gisirikare ntacyo za kora abasirikare icyo gihe ba Xfar bayandika abantu bamwe barayambara ariko bamwe babwira yuko iyo myenda bibambitse kugira ngo babone ko ari abasirikare ko bakira ko inkotanyi ziri kwirebeza ishobora kubarasa bamwe iyo myenda bayikuramo iyo image nyibuka gutyo ariko sinzi cyo byari ko byari bimeze gusa nibuka ko ari abayamba hari nabayikuyemo cyari gihe cy'abantu benshi cyane ubwo nari ndi kumwe na na mama na nabo bana babiri na pilote mu muna wanje wankurikiraga nakundaga cyane tugenda tugeza mu gatugana nyanza cyicukiro ubwo rero muri iyo nzira tugeze kuri oprovia tuza mu kanyanza cyicukiro ngo hari akarere ka hari akarere ka cyicukiro komeza ruguru cyo giye nabuze nabaye nkawo mbuze muri umuna wanje ngo pilote kwa batware turi kumwe aho ngo ariko kubera abantu utabashaga kubona umuntu hirya no hinyo kubera ubwinshi bw'abantu nta abantu twegeranye cyane naramubuze mbazije mama mbwira ko atazahana gye ariko naye ndamwiyaka nkugiye gushaka mu muna wanje eh ubwo kuva icyo gihe nibwo nahise ntandukana na mama tugana inzira igana nyanza ya kicukiro ndazamuka ndimo ndashaka umuntu wange mu bara abantu benshi cyane ariko ngenza kugira amahirwe mu mwara n'umudamu wari inshuti na mama witwa Gagata ahita afata akaboka mbaje mama ndamubwira ko asigaye inyuma n'indi gushaka muri umuntu wange ubwo ne wambiye ko muri umuntu wa Agata ari we ufite muri umuntu wange ubwo numva ngize ikizere yuko azahana hari afata akaboka none ngo tugende tukomeza tugana nyanza ya kicukiro ari kubwo tugeze navuga ko iyi munsi yo ndi kuhazamuka natekereza kuna cyuje byagenze ahari uyu munsi ari hotel ya Nobleza gusa ngo tuhageze abantu basanga nkaho bikanze cyane bavuga yuko imbere abantu barimo barabica abantu nibagere bose tujye kwicirwa nyanza ya kicukiro navuga ko bahagira bose ari ugupfa ubwo mama rero yayisambira ngo nimufata akaboko mukomeze tujye kwirukanka mukurikire ubwo ntekereza ko aho hantu araho aho hafi na nobleza ariho twamanutse kuko mbere yambona nka wariho hameze nkawo hari hari igishanga ko hepfu nta mazu yara hari cyo nibuka gusa nuko hari munsi na hari ni miringoti narinda kana n'indi umwana mutoya nta nimbaraga afite agenda simbukisha miringoti nkagwa kanterura kanjyana ubwo rero twarakomeje tugera ibutamwa ukomeza zabuta mwari ko kubera na yishonje cyane ashira ikigori kibisi arakima ndakirya ambwira yuko nta kibuntu hare dukomeza tugana za nyamirambo nyamirambo tujya aho bita kukivugiza banishuti no mudamu agata ari kubwo mama numva ko twamutaye nyanza ya kicukiro no muri umuna wanje ndetse ari na musaza mu moto ga kaitani ubwo mbaho ngaho nari nari hebyo ko nari ravuze mama ariko mama ko yaje nawe mu bantu abaririza abantu bose yuko dusho abaza nimba ntabonye umwana we umeze gutya na gutya haza umukobwa umwe araje kuvoma hafi no kukivugiza abantu twari turi arambona ariko ko ataranzi mvaga hari umudamu wabuze umwana we nibya se yavuga ko ari umwana yabonye yagarutse bwa kabiri yaje kuntwara tujya aho ngaho ntafi ya stade nyamirambo mu mudamu witwa gatare no waje kudufata atujyana ku bashuti wa Islam wa batu yaho ngaho inyuma ya stade ya Nyamirambo tujyayo tumara iminsi hanyuma nyuma nabo baza guhunga kuko ngo hari hari magama bari yeri intera hamwe hirya no hino avuga ko ngo bashaka kwa twica ariko kubera ko mama yari atwite kandi akuriwe imbaraga zarashize avuga ko tudashaka kuva muri iyo nzu twebwe turi buhagume hanyuma mama yisha muri iyo nzu nini yari hari kagiba tujyana mu gikoni watubwira ko tugomba kugumaho abantu bazaza tuzavuga ko tutazahana ababyeyi bacu bari bari mama niyo aba baje kumutwara tuzavuga ko tugaba ababyeyi bacu tutazahana bari ngo twagumyiraho ngaho hanza ariko muri gipango twari turimo abayisiramu amaze kugenda harahantu hari akadirisha gato yo twajya najyaga njya gusaba amazi yo kunywa harimo umwana w'umukobwa ni wakunda kuma amazi yari muri fame abantu batayibaga mu gihe cya genocide ariko amamazi akajya amamazi mu gikombe ibikombe bibiri kimwe nka giha mama ikindi twagitwara ariko akama no gusenda ruvanze n'umuntu rero nabikiraga mama kabiri gata ubundi akamwe amazi 
yabikoze rero kenshi ariko nyuma y'igihe nsubiye yambira ko mama we yabimenye kandi yarangije kubwira intere hamwe ziraho ngaho karamba ngo nyibwire mama dushaka hano kwisha icyo yarambira ngo ngo ntabwo ari batugambanye ngo ni mama we ambira ko yaramuje kongera kuduha amazi mama azi bwa nyuma ariko aramwe ngo sinzagabwe ubwo rwo munsi kuri kiyo ni bwahise haza intere hamwe aziza kutureba aho ngaho ngiye cyo giye baramfashe nari ndi umwana ko ngiye ngiye witwa witwa ita gusoka nkaza baramfata bambazaza nimba nta basirikare bajya bazo ngo bafite akaradio mbabira ko nta bonzi bo ndabaza ababyeyi ndabwo nta bonzi ahantu bari baraza bafata mama baramutwara ari ku gipango twa turimo gukora ari senyenge hari teye nibiti mama baramutwara tuge turasigara ariko nza mugendera kuri zo senyenge nkuri kende abantu bamujyanye ndongo hararenga ndamubura ubwo nkomeza kwicara aho ngaho babana bo bari muri mugikona hano twishaga nza kubona mama ari kwa garutse nyuma y'imyaka tamikeya ariko atakiri kubona kuko muri mu maso bari bamuteye mu rusenda ari mari mararira ubwo mama mbwira kwa mutete rusenda ubwo mituita tusubira muri yanzu ariko natwe tuvuga ngo twari twishe tujya muri yonzu aho ngaho nyina hanyuma awo munsi munsi kuri cyo mu gitondo cyakare byo byamaze kuba nibwo haje abasikare b'inkotanyi mu gitondo cyakarenzwa ko atabonaga hari nko masaha 11 hari gucyo baraza barahamagara ukigenda sokoka mvuga ko ari twe twenye ari ngiye ngiye nyine nyine baravuga tarimo no wundi mu mama ngo mama nyina byumvise arasokoka bose baraza dura mu byango inkotanyi cyo zakoze bahise bafata bashyira ku rutugu bafata n'ababana bari babakobwa bafata mu ntoki na mama tujya imbere hanyuma batujyana hari muri setandre bo setandre hari impunzi nyinshi yero batujyane badusigayo kugeza ubwo mu gihe cya genocide genocide imaze bamaze kwihagarika nibwo twongeye dusubira cyo kiro centre ariko mama icyo gihe yarameze nabi yarwaye jisho atwite kandi cyo gihe rafite n'ikibazo cy'igifero rwaye gifumenya ari sende ya daga kenshi n'umuntu kandi nta kindi kintu yashyiraga mu nda ubwo mu gihe twamaze cyo kiro centre mama yise yibaruka uwo muri umuna wanje umukana kagahinja ngo ni ngiye ari hari ngenye naho ndi muri famille twari tuzi naho ndi muri twari tuza makuriye twa muri ubwo buzima ubwo ntangira kwita kuri mama no kumenya gahinja turi kumwe asimenye ruhinja kuko mama wataramize neza nyuma nyuma gatwe baje no kwita mukura mijisho ko rya byarangiritse cyane gasigarana rimwe nyuma umuryango witoga barakabaho fondation namwira ndumva baza kubakira amazu barokotse genocide nibwo nawe twaje kwita twakubakira inzu ndumva hagati mu 1993 ni twe bubakinzu ya mbere kuko abeza aramazu bubatse menshi cyo gihe abari twita bakiri inzu bavugango icyo ryo twigezemo ndumva ari mu ntangira za 1997 na wa muntu wanje mama itaremba cyane nabwo bahise bamujyana siyashika mu bitaro mujya mujya kwita kuri mama nene natangiye kwiga hari abirimera mu giporoso ko ntangira kwita kuri mama njya ndagenda mba kwa muganga muri umuntu wange ngo twamutaye kuko abeza ari wenyine muri iyo nzu yamaze iminsi 3 nta muntu ramugeraho ka yaranze kusoka mu nzu abantu bamwe batanaza hano kwagiye haje mu mama wanje tira mama ni wavuye kicukiro aje kudusura musanga umwana aho aramubwira ko yatuze baramutwara nyuma iyo minsi ngo ngene ndi kwa muganga sehashika nyuma y'iminsi mike ya turi kumwe kwa muganga na mama yararembye cyane ko yarafite ikibazo yumvaga nta muntu mu muryango n'umwe yara yarazi arwaye n'igifu n'ijisho rero mu nyuma y'iminsi mike ari mu ndivuga ko yarimo bonbon tujya yikura mu arampamagara ambira ngo nzite kuri bari umuntu abanje ariko ko namuhoraga impande hari hari n'imyenda nagomba gufura sinabikora cyo gihe ndibuka yuko haje ababikiri nabo banangeze nyuma yaho hari mu masenge abavana mu batwaheze bati hano cyo 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 mama amaze kwita imana ko nkigera ku muryango wose yashika nibwo wari babandi bakoropa nibwo bambwiye ngo erega byarangiye ko nahise nongera subira mu 
icya hafi ndira ndi kwirwanga cyane kuvuga ya gusubirayo babibonye ubona ko ama nawe nta buzima yafuye ngo nagumye aho ngaho bajya kumureba se yashaka no bafasha umurambo na baraka bo fondation nambira ndumva dusubira ni bwo bafukize ruhare mu kugira ngo mamashingwe icyo gihe eh arashimwe ariko muri murange ko ari muto atazi nimba mama yafuye nta kintu kimwe arazi kuva icyo gihe aranyanze uburyo yongiye kongiye kubana nyuma maze kumenya ubwenge ko arazi ko ari nge na mama twamwanze yero ubwo buzima rero bw'icyo gihe twabanyeho na mama bwo nabaye nkaho nsigaye numva ndi gye nyine ntaho ndi narinzi usibyo mu bikiri umwe wenyine ntaho ndi muntu mbaga nzi numvaga nkaho buzima busa nkaho burangiye kuba ntafite mama ntafite papa arimo ari wo papa yari yaragwiye butare hariya na mushiki wanje tukorodine yaragwiye butare wo pilote nawe na musaza amara yaragwiye haranyanza ya kicu numba guzima ho busa nkaho burangiye ariko nza kugira amahirwe muri abo babikira bo petitser nyuma nyuma yuko mama bamaze kumushyingura nibo bantwaye ariko kare umuntu akangi bagafashe ko karanga ko kavuga ko nakanze na gataye na mama ba tujya kwara kicukiro ahari hari abandi bana bo twa turi mu kigero kimwe ko mu gihe cy'ajinsi dara bari bahungiye mu rugo rwa bavandimwe bato ba Yesu de petit de Jesus abenshiro bishi cyo gintera hamwe nazo hari cyo cyo zishe ababyeyi zisiga abantu ubwo kigero nagembana nabo ariko koko twese twari turi mu kigero kimwe amateka yacu aramwe bisa nkaho biduprotegemo gato ya koko twese twari mu kigero kimwe dutukina kurira aho ngaho ariko kenshi ntabwo kaburaga yuko uho rutekereza ibyo babyeyi bari n'umuryango wawe ko dutari tuzi ubwenge ariko kibaza impamvu genocide yabayeho nuko byagenze ibyo ni ibintu byahoraga biza ariko kumva ugize nagahinda kumva ari bitagenda kumva sinzarangiza kwiga ntabwo mashuri azakunda numva ga ari ibintu byinshi bidashoboka mu buzima bwanje ariko ntangira kwiga kuko nahora nagagahinda gusa nkora ndira kenshi cyane nabaga ndi genye ariko sinashoboraga kure hari umuntu ndeba ko narabitinyaka ariko ndi genye nene nariraga nohora nagagahinda kenshi ubwo nyuma rero nyuma ndiga muri primaire ndayirangiza ara muri kicukiro nyuma nagonza no kujya kwiga muri to kicukiro wo mwakumwe nyuma njya Saint Joseph Kabgayi muri Troncome ubwo icyo gihe nibwo nari ntangiye kumenya no nti bya genocide genocide ikintu byagenze ntangira nshaka kumenya amateka ya genocide ntangira kumenya by'imiryango wanje benshi baguye aho igishambu mu nyakibanda grand seigneur nyakibanda ndetse na na no kuri no kuri no mu nyakibanda hariya kuri grand seigneur neza Burero iyo ubwo buzima nabayemo mu gihe cya genocide cyaje kunkomeza gusa nuko numvise ko ntari ngiye nyine atari ngiye ngiye nyine aho nibyo bikomere bya genocide muri iyo myaka ahubwo nagiye mbona rundi rubyiruko benshi bacye mu bintu bya genocide none cyamfashe nuko twakomeje kubigana no gusangira amateka bituma numva nkomeye kandi none nkumva ngize namatsiko yo gushaka kumenya cyateje genocide n'impamvu yabaye byo bwo ntangira kumva ukuri kuri genocide no kubisobanukirwa bituma numva nkomeye mu ncama kerero buzima nabaye mu nyuma genocide mu bwo ngubwo ariko ikinkomeza no kwiga no gushaka kumenya amateka yaranze genocide yakora abatutsi ndetuka ndetse n'amateka yaranze icyo cyacu mu rusange ndagira ngo mbabwire ngo mukomeze nduke mwibaka muri iyo twibuka um, just in brief in English, uh, Luck um, was sharing about his story, uh, his life from the time when uh, the genocide started and how uh, his family, his brothers, his mom were hiding all the time uh, uh, from the genocidaires and how uh, they were being threatened uh, throughout that period until the RPF came uh, and took them 
away to a safe place, but then fortunately his mom got very sick during the year, I think in 1997. And it was extremely uh, tough time for him uh, as he was the oldest and he was still young. Uh, his brother was not around. His brother thought they did not love him anymore. Uh, and then they, it was lucky that there were some sisters, some nuns who were able to help him. Uh, eventually, uh, he found out that his mom passed away. And it was tough because he was not even close with his family. His brother thought um, they never liked him, that they left him. Uh, it is a very much a deep story of his life from then and to where he is now. And Luck, we would like really to thank you that you've taken the time to share with us. I think it puts uh, the heaviness on, on what this event means and on where uh, we were then and where we are now. We can definitely see the difference and we can see uh, so many changes that have happened, even though we still have that heaviness of, of our past. I'd like to uh, take uh, this moment uh, to invite Star. Star is uh, one of the young people in Toronto, and uh, he is going to um, give us a poem. Star, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Remy. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I think before I even start, I wanted to thank those of you tuned in here in Toronto, obviously, those of you back home in Rwanda. Um, uh, my name, like you said, is Stir or Muhire. That's uh, my traditional name that I go by. Uh, I am a growth coach here in Toronto. I'm also a youth program facilitator. Uh, but today I'll be sharing a poem. So I am also a writer. I enjoy to do it in my spare time. Before I even do that, again, I want to thank the organizers. Huge shout out for this incredible initiative. It's been said over and over again throughout the program how this is an important and necessary uh, initiative to be made. I think I've been tuned in since the beginning and all the stories that I've heard, uh, the discussions and the testimonies and the performances have been incredible. And I think they've all been express, expressed sorry, through a place of love. And that's what I want to continue with my poem. Um, I think the core messaging behind it is, again, echoing a lot of what has already been said. It's about foundations, about what we stand for, about um, you know, the values that we've created that we believe in that dictate our behaviors and hopefully drive us uh, and our actions forward. So without further ado, the title of the poem is Remember to Remember. So enjoy. Remember to remember. Remember all of the good times, but don't get caught up in the past. Remember that the road ahead is shaped by the actions you take now. Remember not to take life too seriously all the time. Remember to be patient. Remember to enjoy every second of every minute of every hour of every single day. Remember that if you are breathing, that you are winning. Remember that time you failed at something you really wanted to accomplish and it made you feel so low, like you were stuck, but somehow you still were able to make it through? Or remember one of the times you experienced hardship but felt like you had all of the support in the world from the people in your life and you didn't even ask for it. Now that's something to be grateful for. Remember to be grateful of everything that is happening for you Forget about what happens to you because those things might be lessons and chapters we haven't yet reached in our respective books of life. Speaking of books, remember to read too. You can thank me later for that one. Remember that there are others out there who are struggling and that the struggle continues. Aluta continua. Remember that time when you said you were going to do something but you didn't do it. Yeah, I know, that's not a great feeling for anyone to experience. But remember it anyways, and use it as fuel to light that fire that will burn you if you choose not to honor yourself again. You owe it to yourself to have that ingrained in your memory. Remember to be open. 
Remember that vulnerability does not mean that you are a coward, but instead that you have the strength to show yourself in order to connect. Remember that you are allowed to cry when you are sad and that it is okay not to feel okay, but that it is not okay not to ask for help. So ask for help. Remember to treat others the way you wish to be treated. So if you've received that kind of help that you needed in the past, give it back. Remember that time itself is a made up concept and that the only time is now. Remember that things in the past don't need to consume you and that the things that haven't happened yet, newsflash, they haven't happened yet. So don't give them any of your time or energy. Use that energy today instead. Use that right now. Remember that if you were once broken or if you are feeling broken right now, that you can reset, recharge, and rebuild. Come from. Remember what you stand for. Remember your foundation. Remember to create happiness through growth and that growth involves pain. The audio too. Embrace that pain. Remember that today is the best day of our lives and that it's your race at your pace. Remember Hello? Just be sure to believe, believe, believe. Hi, um, thank you, thank you, Star. Uh, I think some technicalities uh, did not work through. Uh, let us go ahead. Uh, thank you so much. Um, if I may say something um, before we before introduce the next speaker, um, I would like to thank you so much, Star, for the poem and uh, the connection seems to be cutting off. We apologize to the listeners. However, we say stay tuned uh, for, um, and also remember to send in the questions. We are here to educate the youth, to give you a chance and an opportunity to ask the questions. We have leaders who will be answering from the government and political perspective of you. And also we're here to commemorate with the, our families of Rwanda who have um, experienced the uh, effects of the 1994 genocide against Tutsi. And we say, Humura Nuriwe Nine, Remember as we unite and renew. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Remy, if you may go ahead. Uh, thank you so much, Rita. Uh, thanks for that and explaining uh, the technicalities we had. Um, I would like to take this moment uh, to introduce uh, our next discussion, our next talk uh, that will be uh, by Irene Delaire. Uh, Irene Delaire is a genocide survivor um, and she has uh, an incredible story um, that she actually uh, wrote a book. So she's an author. Her book is called L'improbable destin d'Irene. I think it means the improbable destiny of Irene. Uh, Irene, uh, welcome. La cause, oui. euh, donc c'est ça, l'improbable destin d'Irene, euh, bon, probable, <rire> c'est improbable destin d'Irene. Mon papa est là, il est comme un petit Rwanda, pour différence à Kurusha. Donc il veut dire, ma gamme différence, mon papa il est, on ne va pas chaque coup d'œil, on va se combattre, on va se battre. Donc mon nom c'est Irene Dallaire, na vous qui est mon Rwanda. Ariko nitwa Irene na nyirawizeye. So navukiye ibutari maraba ariho naho na nawuriye ababyeyi banje bapfiriye iruhashya. Muri muri 1994 nk'abantu muri genocide. Uyu munsi nashaze kuvuga ku kwiyubaka kwera ko donc ibyo nabaye mu muri genocide abasomye gitabo bazabisangamo bazasangamo story yange yose kuko nayibanye mu ijana sida ariko ndabahazima muri makeya nabyo uko byagenze muri 1994 donc nafite imyaka 18 niho nabuye bishe papa wanyira mama wange na 
mon ma petite sœur et mon petit frère. Et je suis allé à mon petit frère. Je suis allé à la maison de la maison de ni ukanga mufite ku mugongo nuko basha basha kubaho kubera iki nashatse uyu munsi kuvuga kwiyubaka nuko igihe kirekire navuze ibyambayeho no kugira ngo mbivuge byamfashe igihe kirekire byamfashe igihe kinini ntabwo nashakaga kubivuga namushaka kugira ngo abantu bamenye ibyo nabayemo aho naciye nuko byagenze ariko bigera igihe yuko nta nta gishoye kugumana nyine nongira ngo nkajya mbiganiza ishuti zanje ngira ngo naho nandika igitabo kugira ngo abantu babimenye kwiyubaka kuri ngewe ntago mvuga ko abantu bose biyubaka abantu bose yubaka uko babishoboye mu buzima bwabo biyubaka uko buri wese abishoboye mu buzima ariko ngewe nge kwa uko ndabwira uko ngiye byangendekeye nyuma ya genocide maze kubura famille yanje abye banje ntago nkaba wona nkabana bari fite imyaka yanjye muri cyo gihe ntago numvaga ijo impamvu uko byabaye ntago narinzi impamvu ntago numvaga impamvu abantu bafashe bakica ababyeyi numvaga nta kintu bakoze ariko byageza aho nanye fata umwanya njya gushaka impamvu kugira ngo mbashe kubyumva no mbashe no kubyemera ntago uyu munsi ushaka kuvuga ko genocide yabaye tuzayibagirwa nta nubwo bishobora kuko yibagirwa ariko no kwiga kugira ngo kugira ngo bashe pour vivre avec so vivre avec l'histoire du génocide ni kintu gikomeye cyane aho nge navuze mu buzima byamfashe imyaka nkuko nababwiye imyaka myinshi cyane kugira ngo mbashe kubyemera no kubyemera no kubasha kugira ngo um mbashe kumva ko mu buzima nkeneye kwiyubaka kubera iki ndongo ndeka mbasobanure mu bintu bine icyambere nuko ntashaka kwibagirwa ibyabaye kuko ibyabaye muri genocide n'icyo kintu cyonyine nafite cyatumaga nibuka ababyeyi banje icyo iyo memo n'icyo cyatumaga nibuka ababyeyi banje so um le mémoire de mes parents c'est n'icyo kintu cyonyine nari nsigaje mu buzima so kugira ngo nibagirwe nagiyegeje kwibagirwa birananira ngerageza kubyumva nkumva simbyumva neza nanone nene bigeraho ukagira icyo umujinya ukababara ugashaka kugira ngo abantu bagusobanurire neza banze kubyumva ariko ntago byashobokeraga so aho byageze no kuvuga ko kugira ngo mbashe kwibuka mu buzima bwanje nuko byagezeho nemera yuko iyo evenement yabaye ndavuga nto kereka ngemere byarabaye neno niki ngomba gukora kugira ngo mbashe gutera imbere hari iki bintu byamfase kamwe hari iki bintu bambiraga kera bakambira ati nagiraga traumatisme ariko abizi traumatisme abantu bayizi mu Rwanda ni jeune sinzi nangira ntago umuntu akubwa ngo ufite traumatisme ariko nari nyifite ndayibana ho imyaka myinshi cyane kugeza yuko mpura nabantu bambira ati wowe ukeneye kujya kuri mu psychologue akagufasha ukamusobanura ibintu wabayemo muri genocide ukabasha kubiganiriza umuntu byafashe imyaka nawe kugira ngo mbashe kubikora so njya kuri mu psychologue nawe nkumba ntago anyumva nka mwihorera nkigendera um bigeraho ikintu cyafashije ntabike byazo ndabyandika ko nashaka kugira ngo abantu bamenye ibyabaye bamenye uko byagenze fata umwanya turabyandika mu gitabo kugira ngo abantu bazabashe kubyisoma neneho niyo naba mpari cyangwa nta gihari tuzabasha bazabashe kumenya uko byangendekeye uyu munsi nicyo kintu cyafashije kandi nicyo mvuga nabantu abantu bafite ama story bajye bandika wenda niyo tamu gitabo naho umuntu afite aho yabyanditse ngiryo kintu cyaramfashije ariko hari kintu kimwe na 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 natekeje mu zimo ndavuga se ko naba ubungubu ko nabuze famille yanjye kugira ngo ure famille yoweho na famille ni hagore ibintu byoroshye kandi ntago ari gye nyine hari abantu benshi ariko hari ikintu kimwe umuntu tugomba kumva mu buzima kuba tukiriho uyu munsi niki cyatuma natera imbere kugira ngo none no buzima sigaje kuri isi ntubuza kubuza so cyo kintu cyatumye mvuga nti reka nicare none no ntekereze mu bintu ngomba gukora mu buzima niki ngomba gukora mu buzima bwanje cyatuma ubuzima bwanje butarapfuye butazapfubusa nimba imana yatumye mbaho ngomba gukora ikintu kizima kandi ngomba kwiyubaka mu buzima bwanje ntazaba ntazakomeza mbabaye nkuko ngirirwamo mu buzima ariko 
ndavuga ndabikunda icyo gihe niho natekeje kwa kwandika ubundi mpita ntekeze ibyo ngomba gukora kugomora mu buzima ntangira no ku oh my god ntangira no ku ku participer mu bintu bya commemoration ibyo ntakoraga kuko mbere numvaga nta kintu bimfasha ariko ngubu biramfasha kugira ngo none nkomenye ko hari nabandi bantu bababaye nkuko nange nababaye ariko ahantu hari umuntu umuntu agera akavuga ati eske ubuzima bufite akamaro ubuzima umuntu ari ubuzima ubuzima ndi kuba mu bungo bufite akamaro aro byageze nabwo shaka no kwivana aho ubuzima shaka kwiyica ariko imana irankiza icyo gihe mbasha kubaho nanone hari ikintu mu buzima ikintu cya um oh my god donc um ce qui mon bavard n'y découvre pas de différence dans les deux dignes rohé kurusha ce qui est important dans la vie c'est vraiment de nous permettre de 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 pouvoir vivre avec um le de vivre avec l'histoire du génocide mais de ne pas le ne pas continuer à vivre avec la la colère la haine donc de d'être capable de de vivre euh, de façon euh, de façon qui nous permet de transmettre la mémoire de façon qui nous permet de de continuer euh, donc à à partager le, le génocide à partager notre histoire mais comment est-ce qu'on peut le partager sans créer la haine ou la douleur comment est-ce qu'on peut se construire de façon euh, qui fait en sorte qu'on peut être heureux malgré tout alors euh, ce que je dis c'est que ce qui nous arrive ne, ne définit pas ce que nous sommes parce que ce que le Euh, que génocide et à cause de l'argot euh, à l'identité en fait. ça ne permet pas d'être euh, en fait ce n'est pas ce que nous sommes parce que euh, si je continue à m'identifier à ce qui s'est passé c'est très difficile de, de, de pouvoir continuer à, à avancer dans la vie donc euh, c'est important pour nous et pour chacun de nous de se construire et d'avancer mais aussi de partager l'histoire de façon équitable de façon euh, de façon que euh, la génération suivante il puisse ne pas avoir ni la haine mais surtout ne pas permettre que en fait mitazon dira ko baho mu buzima so ubu ngubu hari kintu kimwe umuntu euh euh il y a une chose que je dis c'est que qu'est-ce que ni kinzi baza mfite imyaka ngeze ku myaka nka nka 1980 nicaye navuze se ni twi ni twicara tukibaza tuzibaza niki twakoze kugira ngo kugira ngo tuzabashe kugira ngo iyi genocide yabaye ntizongere kuba kugira ngo abantu abantu nkatwe tuzabashe kubaho ubuzima bwiza nubwo twabibanyimo twabibanyimo tuzabashe kuba ubuzima bwiza niki cyatuma eske nzicara tuzicara tuvuge niki nakoze cyangwa niki ntakoze donc no kuvuga ko tugomba ugomba ugomba kwicara ukibwira ukavuga ati nakoze iki nza nakoze iki nubwo cyananiye cyangwa nagikoze nza naragikoze ndakese ya kiranga ariko naragikoze so ni impamvu ubu ngubu niho niho natanye vuga nti ngo umuzima tugomba gukora ikintu ikintu cyose dukoze gituma um, ikintu cyose twakora cyatuma mu buzima tubasha uh, kubaho neza marike byo byabayeho eh, ariko bigadufasha no kugira ngo tuzabashe kubwira abazakurikira ariko tuba tuba bibabwira um, kugira ngo uh, allez en parler avec uh, la pas juste la douleur en fait kubera ko uh, ikintu nabonye kimwe nuko iyo mbibwira uh, mbiganira na musaza wange twabashije ko wabashije gukira uh, ufite nari mfite nirukankanye nafashe mu mugongo nkamwe nkajyana nawe nuko we nta kintu yumva ubu ngo kuko yari umwana yafitiye bon yafitiye imyaka ibiri ari jamba zibintu ifo ko mbasha kubimusobanurira ariko se inangi byo musobanura nibyo nibuka hari gye nibaza okay nzayimubwira gute kugira ngo abyumve kuko we nta yarahara ariko ntago abyumva byose nicyo kintu okay bya byatumye ngo ngomba ku kwemera iki kwemera ko ndiye na ifite ikibazo cy'a traumatisme afata umwanya yo kujya ku kugi kugitreta nabaganga eh uh, neno hafata n'umwanya yo kuvuga ati rika 
reka none nongiye mbashe kumera neza mbere yuko njya kuvugisha musaza wanje ngo nkora ma processus yose kugira ngo mbashe kumera neza kumva ko ngiyewe ashobora pour pouvoir comprendre que la façon que je vais transmettre le message à mon frère ni kintu kiza tuma kimuteza imbere ariko kitazama kitazaza tuma asubira inyuma so um ekuno uh, donc ni cyo cyatumye uh, oh je vais parler en français <laughs> excuse-moi uh, donc um, c'est pour ça que euh um, kwiwa c'est quelque chose de très très important et c'est surtout que c'est quelque chose qui qui doit nous permettre de ne pas euh, de continuer de façon euh, euh, à vivre pas pas pour la vengeance ou pour euh, pas pour la vengeance ni pour euh, euh, pas pour la vengeance et ni pour euh, euh, comme développer la haine encore plus mais surtout pour pouvoir comme créer euh, ensemble quelque chose qui va nous permettre de de de, de yoga Ouais. quelque chose qui va nous permettre de yo kugira ngo en fait tuzabe turi kumwe et puis ntibizongire je ne sais d'abord ntizongire ko je suis vraiment i'm so sorry que kinyarwanda jana ni j'ai j'ai essayé c'est plus facile pour moi de témoigner en français qu'en 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 kinyarwanda mais euh, mais je vous remercie oh my god oh. murakoze cyane kubwo ubwo buhamya utigezeho kagira ngo tubashimire cyane kubwo ikiganiro kiza mu duhaye the summary of what she just said is uh, if you are a survivor um, the, don't give up keep pushing so that the, the memories lives on and also learn how to share this story like it's your responsibility to share to the young ones for them to understand what you went through so we can keep the memories of those that we lost in 1994 genocide against Tutsi alive and that what with us remembering our history will help us not to ever go back to what happened to not to let the history ever repeat itself so thank you so much Irene for that and uh, now I will be welcoming his excellency Prosper Hijiro who will be talking to us Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Rita, and uh, other panelists. Uh, Honorable Rosemary uh, Bawazi, our Minister of Youth and Culture. Uh, dear colleagues, panelists, I would like first to welcome you all to this Kwibuka 26 that has been organized by CARI. Uh, CARI stands for Canadian Association of uh, Rwandan Youth, the Toronto chapter. And uh, I would like to sincerely on behalf of the High Commission, uh, thank very much uh, carry for this initiative and uh, actually urging them to continue to organize uh, such initiative of remembering and other activities to support our youth across the world. Also allow me to thank our Minister of Youth and Culture, uh, Honorable Rosemary Bawazi, who has accepted to join us uh, and accepted to be our main guest speaker. Uh, of course, I want to also appreciate and thank all the panelists uh, for the time you have, uh, you took uh, to be present and uh, uh, everybody who contributed in organizing this great event. 
Here in Canada, the Rwandan youth participate in very, very actively uh, and uh, consistently in Rwandan community abroad activities, but also in other Rwandan government activities, uh, such as Youth, youth Connect, uh, Itoriro, and Umushikirano. Uh, Kugeza uyu munsi abanyarwanda babarirwa muri Canada abagera hafi ku bihumbi mirongo itatu umuntu ageranyije mu Rwanda ngira ngo n’abaturage barenze ababa batuye umurenge umwe bikaba byumvikana rero ko ari benshi abo banyarwanda bakaba bibumbiye mu mashyirahamwe asa agera hafi kuri makumyabiri na tatu numva ari makumyabiri nabiri mu mbabarire ayo mashyirahamwe akaba ari mu mu miji itandukanye ya Canada no muri za provinces zitandukanye eh ambassade y'u Rwanda rero hano muri Canada muri gihe mu gihe cyo kwibuka genocide yakuriye abatutsi muri 1994 buri mwaka twifatanya nabo banyarwanda bose harimo n'urubyiruko ari urwibumbiye muri Kari ndetse nabandi muri uyu mwaka ku itariki ya karindwi zo kwezi kwa kane nabwo twagize igikorwa cyo kwibuka kandi ndumva naba turi kumwe bamwe nabo baradukurikiye mu bikorwa twagize muri cyo ku itariki ya karindwi nyine icyo twibuka rero ngira ngo abaduhaye ibiganiro bavuze turi ubuka genocide yakorewe abatutsi muri 1994 ku buryo mu gihe kiminsi jana hapfuye aba abantu miliyoni imwe isanga mu byukuri tuvuga iminsi jana nibyo kuko ubwicanyi bwarakomeje ariko kuba kurikiye ibyabaga mu Rwanda muri cyo gihe nange ndimo kuko nari Kigali ubwicanyi ahenshi bwakozwe hagati y'itariki ya karindwi z'ukwezi kwa kane kugeza mu ntangiriro z'ukwa gatano ndetse no ku itariki nk'iyi itariki ya 19 z'ukwezi kwa kane nibwo leta yiyise cyo gihe y'abatabazi eh yamanutse cyo gihe niko bavyitaga bagiye butare kugeza icyo gihe kugeza tariki ya 19 z'ukwezi kwa kane Uh, ibutare ntabwo bari bitabiriye cyane uh, genocide ariko leta yose yagiye yo ni inzego zayo guhera kuri wari president cyo gihe bakangurira abaturage kubyo bise gukora aho gukora nta kindi uh, byari ubwicanye icyo gihe bahirengera ngo ko wari prefet wa prefecture ya butare a uh, birumvikana rero ko kuva icyo gihe tugomba kwibuka tugomba kwibuka ariko byumwe hari ko ubu uh, mu Rwanda abaturage dufite abenshi mu rubyiruko abenshi bavutse nyuma ya genocide hari abari mu Rwanda habari na, hari nabari mu mahanga tugomba rero gufatanya kugira ngo ayo mateka tuyasobanukirwe ndumva nyakoha ministre w'urubyiruko n'umuco aza kuza kudufasha kubigarukaho ku buryo burambuye ntabwo bigarukaho ariko nanone nkuko byavuzwe tugomba kwibuka tuniyubaka ndagira ngo nshimire abaduhaye ubuhamya ntabwo ndi bubarondore bose uh, ariko ndagira ngo mbashimire cyane cyane uh, ubutwari bagize kuko gutanga ubuhamya kubyakubayeho muri mu bihe nka bya bya genocide ntabwo byoroshye ikindi ndagira ngo basabe kwihangana no gukomera abacitse kwicumu bose basabe kwihangana no gukomera nkuko dukunze kubivuga bumve ko batari bonyine ntabwo bari bonyine bari kumwe na leta bari kumwe n'abanyarwanda bose babafashe mu bwongo we remember today and it is really important to remember to, as individuals but mostly we have to remember collectively 
as a nation. We have to take time and you reflect on the causes of genocide and on how the youth has been exploited and used in committing genocide. But also we need to remember and to, to see how the youth can and must contribute towards the renewal and for the better Rwanda we want now and for the years to come. Yo dukora iki igikorwa nk'iki cyo kwibuka bikozwe n'urubyiruko byateguwe n'urubyiruko twa tugira ngo urubyiruko ari mu Rwanda rwejo bumve ko yo tuvuga ngo never again nibo cyane cyane biba bireba nibo bagomba gufata ya mbere bagakora ibikorwa bakagira imyitwarire bakagira imyumvire ituma iyo never again itazashoboka ko kuko nkuko tubizi urubyiruko nirwo rwakoreshejwe muri genocide yakorewe abatutsi muri 1994 mu Rwanda nanone tugomba kwibuka ko yarako dufite inshingano kuba kubazize genocide to victims ariko uretse kubahesha gaciro ababambuye ubuzima bagerageje kubavutsa tugomba kwibuka tunazirikana abasigaye abacitse kwicuma kwa ko abenshi muri bo nta nabantu badafite intege ndatekereza nk'impfubyi abapfakazi abasigaye nta 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 hantu kwihengeka ibyo byose tugomba yo twibuka tugomba kubizirikana tukumva ko nk'urubyiruko imbaraga z'igihugu tugomba kugira uruhare mu gufasha abo bibafite intege nkeya tugomba no kwibuka kwera ko ingenga bitekerezo ya genocide ndetse nabahakana n'abapfu bya genocide byose biracyahari nkuko yango ni Jean Michel yabivuze tugomba rero gukora twibuka tugatanga ibimenyetso tugakora ku buryo genocide itazongera koko garutse gato kuri genocide yakorewe abatutsi mu Rwanda yagize umwihari hari ibintu nka bibiri cyangwa bitatu ushaka kugaruka aho munyemereye Jean Michel atavuze cyangwa yenda na subiramo icyambere nuko ari genocide yateguwe it was planned it was planned and executed by the state machinery mu byukuri ku nkatwe ku bari mu Rwanda bari Kigali aba kurikire uko imyaka yagiye kurikirana mu gutegura genocide wasangaga inzego zose zarabigize mu ruhara aha ndashaka kuvuga iki ndashaka kuvuga inzego za guverinoma ndavuga inzego zibanze loko loko administration inzego z'umutekano igisirikare gendarmerie abari bashinzwe inzego za security hari amashyaka ya politique political parties hari yemwe na inzego zo muri societe civile zimwe na zimwe ndetse no mu madini so birumvikana rero ko uh, umugambi warateguwe no kubushyira mu bikorwa uh, byarorushye kubera ko uh, inzego za leta zose zari zabigize mu ruhare Niyo mpamvu ngira ngo nkagacaca yerekanye ko abantu barenga miliyoni byiri bagize uruhare rutaziguye muri genocide. Ah ikindi nuko yabaye genocide yagiye mu baturage benshi kandi gakorwa abicwaga bicwaga nabantu baturanye kandi baziranye neza. Ikorushwa nuko hari ndanga muntu zanditsemo ubwoko bw'abantu Uh, ariko cyane cyane abantu baziranye niyo uh, ngira ngo hari abantu bari baragerageje guhindura uh, mu ndanga muntu zabo ubwoko babahaga ariko kubera ko abaturanye babaga babazi icyo giye ntacyo byabamariraga ikindi nubugome eh, yakoranwe uh, nabyo ngira ngo habaruwe uburyo burenga 500 bakoresheje mu kwica abatutsi uh, burimo gukoresha intwaro za gakondo 
intwaro z'intambara nka za grenade amasasu nibindi ariko hari nibindi biteye ubwoba nko ku gusaturinda za bagore batwite kugira ngo bavane n'impinja hari ahantu nk'inyarubuye bavuga ko abicanyi bavanaga imitima y'abantu mu mu mibiri yabo baka bakayosa ni ibintu byinshi mu buryo bwakoreshejwe buteye ubwo ikindi navuga nuko ni genocide yatangiye hari ingabo z'amahanga ariko abanyarwanda baratereranwa ubwicanyi butangiye abanyamahanga bose bari igendera ingabo za F zari za FPR inkotanye cyo gihe nizo zonyine zatabaye ngira ngo tujye buri gihe no mu gihe twibuka tujye twibuka izo ngabo kuko iyo zitahaba nabo twita abacitse ku 10 nta numwe uba yarasigaye Hano rero muri Canada hari byagerageje gukorwa mu bijyanye no guhangana n'ingaruka za genocide nda nagira ngo ngaruke ho nkabibiri cyangwa bitati cy'ambere nuko abanyarwanda batuye hano muri Canada bagize uruhare mu gukurikirana abagize uruhare muri genocide ku buryo hari ababaz aboherejwe mu Rwanda kugira ngo baburane baburanishwe muri bo ngira ngo uzwi cyane ni Leon Mugesera uzwi kubera diskuru rutwitsi yavugiye ku kabaya mu muri 1992 eh ariko hari nabandi baburanishijwe hano muri Canada ah ikindi nuko buri mwaka mu migi itandukanye yo muri Canada haba ibikorwa byo kwibuka ah ikindi nuko abanyarwanda bagize uruhare mu gukangurira inteko ishinga amategeko ya hano muri Canada umwaka ushize ikaba yaratoye yafashe icyemezo ntabwo ari itegeko ni motion icyo bita motion eh ivuga isobanura uburyo genocide yakorewe abatutsi mu Rwanda muri 1994 igomba kwitwa bihuje n'icyemezo cyangwa resolution ya y'umuryango wabibumbye UN ah mu bijyanye rero ni nzitizi tukibona hano muri Canada byerekeranye cyane cyane ni ah yenda abanyarwanda n'urubyiruko by'umwihariko na Kari bagira mu ruhare icyambere ni ugufasha kugira ngo ndu munyarwanda ah yumvikane neza kandi gira kamaro kuko usanga hari uburyo buri controversial butumvikanweho usanga bamwe bayifata uko itari bamwe banayipfuje rwose ntago nabura kubyita gutyo birumvikana rero ko gusobanura ndu munyarwanda nka nk'uburyo bwo kongera guhuza abanyarwanda kurenga birya byamoko kugira ngo tu duharanire jo heza hatwese guharanira ubunyarwanda bigomba ku kugirwa mu ruhare n'urubyiruko ikindi ni ingenga bitekereza ya genocide ikigaragara hano mu duce dutandukanye two muri Canada kindi kibazo gikomeye ni genocide denial and minimization minimization birahari birahari hari ah bayobozi bamwe na bamwe tugenda tubiganira ariko birasaba ko nabanyarwanda baba muri Canada kubera ko abenshi bafite n'ubwo bwene gihugu bwa Canada birasaba ko dukomeza gufatanya kugira ngo hashyirwe hitegeko rihana abahana abahakana n'abapfobya genocide yakorewe abatutsi ah ikindi nuko hano muri Canada haracyari abakurikiranweho icyaha cya genocide barenga 10 ngira ngo hari abafite abatangiwe impapuro zibakurikirana n'umushinja cyaha bwo mu Rwanda bagera kuri 12 eh ndagira ngo rero sabe urubyiruko ko twazakomeza gufatanya kugira ngo abo bantu babashe gukurikiranwa koko haba hano muri Canada cyangwa se boherezwe mu Rwanda ah mu 
ikindi nashaka kugaruka aho ni kijyanye na za monument monuments eh kuko usanga kugeza ubu muri Canada nta bwo ari nko mu bindi bihugu nko mu France mu Bubiligi n'ahandi aho usanga hari ibikorwa cyangwa inyubako cyangwa se monuments zagenewe kwibuka ndagira ngo mbakangurire ko aho bari hirya hino muri Canada bavugana n'ubuyobozi bw'imiji barimo bakavugana na za municipalities kugira ngo bishake mu bushobozi bagerageze gutunganya ahantu bazaje bibukira mu minsi rimbere mu gusoza rero ndagira ngo rwose nongere nshime iki gitekerezo kiza Kari Toronto yagize ntabwo ari ubwa mbere njya ngo nubwa kabiri bafatanyije na my past ndagira ngo rwose mbizeze ko high commission yo muri Canada tuzakomeza gufatanya nabo uretse muri ibikorwa byo kwibuka ndetse n'izindi initiative ashobora kugira ndagira ngo mbabwire ko turi available igihe cyacyo cyose bazatwiyambaza tuzabafasha ndetse n'abanyarwanda muri rusange mbere yuko soza rero ndagira ngo nanone nshimire nyako ha ministre Rosemary Mbabazi ministre urubyiruko n'umuco w'u Rwanda kandi nanone nkuko nayo nabivuze niwe mushitsi wacu mukuru muri uyu muhango wo kuyibuka ku nshuro ya 2026 bya wateguwe na Kari Toronto musaba ko muri uyu mwanya tugezaho ijambo nyamukuru yaduteguriye uyu munsi yakubaha ministre Muranyumva Muranyumva Iga turakumva Okay murakoze cyane nagira ngo nange rwose mfata uyu mwanya mbashimire cyane Ah uh, excellence ambassador kuri uyu mwanya wafashe nihangane ngira ngo light ntimeze neza nkaho ngaho kiwanyu ni kumanywa iwacu ni mwijoro Sinzi niba light meze neza ariko ndakeka ko twumvikana amajwi namashusho mbashimire cyane iyi gahunda mwateguye nakurikiye kubasa moya mutangira kugeza ya masaha kuri ya saa moya z'u Rwanda nyango za isasa bazi wanyu zo muri Canada mbashimira cyane cyane nare byukuntu rubyiruko rufite gahunda isobanutse nare byukuntu mwaje nagamukurikiranya ibiganiro nare byubuhamya uko mwabiteguye n'ukuntu mwaganiraga mu ndimi zose ndagira ngo mbashimire cyane gahunda mwakoze ni nziza cyane kuri bashimire tukaba dushimira na ambassade kuba yabafashije kaba bahafi kuba yabanye namwe ya masaha yose nukuri uwo no musanzu ukomeye ariko cyane cyane ufasha urubyiruko mu kuteza imbere no kuruha imbaraga na responsibility no kuba hishingano kugira ngo bumve ko uretse kuba ari urwanda rwejo no rwanda rw'uyu munsi ambe um, gutangira na jangu nanone ntangire nshimira abatanze ibiganiro abatanze uh, ubuhamya abahanzi bahanze baririmba abandi bavuze imivugo namwe bayobwe gahunda mwabikoze neza na jangu bashimire ibikorwa mwakoze birubaka ubwanyu gusa ariko birubaka na bagenzi banyu bari mu mahanga hirya no hino no mu gihugu cyacu ariko burahane kizere igihugu cyacu ko muhari muturi inyuma turarenga muhinguka a nagira ngo nanone mfate uyu mwanya nihanganisha abanyarwanda bose byumwe hari ko abarokotse genocide yakorewe abatutsi nkuko mwagiye namwe mbikora ndakomeza mvuga ikinyarwanda nchiramo n'icyongereza ko kumvise ko abakurikira benshi bumva indimi za mahanga ariko n'ikinyarwanda nabonye mu kivuga neza dear young rwandans living in canada and all of you from various parts of the world who joined us today and nagira ngo mbasuhuze muraho mwaramutse mwiriwe bijyanye naho muri i wish also to convey our appreciation to the high commission in canada as i already mentioned the rwandan community and the rwandan youth in canada for organizing the commemoration amid this, this global pandemic it's not easy but i'm so grateful that you managed to pull up something like this online thank you for taking this time to commemorate and honor the memory of the victims of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. 26 years ago, in this month of April, 
the genocide began and that went on for a hundred days that we keep on commemorating and claiming the lives of over 1 million victims, like the previous speakers said, young and old, all targeted for being born Tutsi. These were people uh, with dreams and aspirations like you all have. And they had families and most of the families perished. Their only crime was being born Tutsi. In the 1994, the meticulous planned uh, this was meticulously planned uh, by the government as the ambassador mentioned, the high commissioner mentioned. By then the government, um, the genocide against Tutsi was also funded by the government and elites and was massively executed by Rwandans, especially the young people. Uh, Bajizuhairo Aho guhabwa amasomo mazima yubaka igihugu aho bagahabwa amasomo yo gusenya igihugu n'amacakubiri ni urwango urwo rubyiruko rwasenya igihugu haza kuba urundi rubyiruko nanone rungana nkabo rungana rwabo ruza kubohora igihugu cyacu ari rwo rw'impotanyi RPA RPF RPA cyo gihe ubu ari RDF ingabo z'igihugu cyacu uyu munsi naro rwa rubyiruko rungana nkabo ariko ubwo rubaza ruko ibikorwa byiza ruzaruhora igihugu namwe rero kuri uyu munsi urubyiruko rw'iki gihe mufite namwe inshingano nakunze no kuno mwakomeje mu bivuga ibyacaga kumvuga mpora nyambaga kuri social media mwahoze muvuga ngo kwibuka si umuhango ni igihango nagira ngo mbibashimye ico kintu mwakomeje muvuga kumvuga nkora nyambaga mwahoze mwemeza yuko uko kwibuka timo twibuka uyu munsi ntago ari umuhango nkuko abantu babikora nk'umuhango ariko ni igihango if you look at statistically, uh, it is said that during the 100 days that we're talking about, at, uh, we are commemorating until July, seven people are killed every minute to achieve the scale it reached. So my message to you today uh, is one of reflection of comfort and call to collective responsibility and collective action. Rwanda, the name of a beautiful country, comes from the word Rwanda, Kwanda. Nurwanda, how muri ahonga on Rwanda, Gomuri Canada. Rwanda, Rwanda, aho mujeze ho se, you carry the Rwandan spirit, you carry the Rwandan flag. Nana shimi, nijo zina jia ni mga hise mgo, nubu tata hise mgo yindi ara, mgo bibe double R Y ni carry, you carry the Rwandan flag, you carry the Rwandan spirit, which is resilience, mga hose mufuga, but also you carry the Rwandan uh, legacy and the Rwandan brand. What do we stand for? It is just say ni vira nguru jiru kurgu yu monsi kujira ngo usiga sira mateka yuru jiru kurgu wa wa njirizre ayiru kwa bjiye ibani. Dero i kwanda which means uh, widely that means wide and far reaching. Rwanda from its founding has been a nation of shared values and organized society where human beings are valued a nation where people live together and came together to fight for the sovereignty of their nation while protecting the weakest. So most of the young people, like they said, your age mates, your colleagues always wonder, ask the same question like you do. You kept on coming up saying, how did it happen? If we had that people used to stay together, they were united with a common vision, with a shared value. How did it happen? How did it end up like this? So um, at the beginning of the 20th century, I think you must have had all this history or repetitively, but we'll keep on repeating it so that it can keep in your memory. And this is what you're going to pass on to the next generation. Rwanda was an organized and a powerful kingdom, like I mentioned earlier. Rwandans shared the same culture, language, and beliefs. And they were predominantly um, farmers and more farming, agriculture, and handcrafts. Together, people defended the country's sovereignty, as I mentioned, 
and they looked forward for the expansion and prosperity of their country. The Rwandan society was organized by families and clans. And during the colonial period, in their efforts to divide and rule, colonialists introduced the concept of ethnicity, where they created three ethnic groups, Hutu, Tua, and Tutsi. They found them already existing, but by social classification, but they strengthened that as a, uh, as a tribe, as a, an ethnic group. And this was uh, strengthened by introducing identity cards called Ibuk. Yugani and Abasaza, Murikahunda and Dumyarwanda, Baba fit the Bamba Chas fit Yobuk, Jamuni her book, Changuji Tabo, Yamuni. Nihunkawanyarwanda uh, at that time, when the colonials came and introduced uh, the identity cards, Iwuku, the reigning king of by then, Umami Musinga, was hosted and forced into exile. This was because he didn't agree with their ideology, he didn't agree with their um, mechanism of governance, uh, the governance structure they introduced. So they told the colonials now took over and told the Rwandans that they were different and they came from different parts of the continent. Through the colonial schools and churches, a history of Rwandan people was framed into people's beliefs, claiming that the different ethnicities emanated from different parts of the continent and therefore reinforcing that they were different people. They were totally different. As a result, in the 1959, when the son of the former king who was exiled, Umami Musinga, King Musinga, the, his son took over, uh, Umami Rudahigwa, but in 1959, he was also assassinated because he also wanted to bring back unity of Rwandans, which was shattered by the colonial time. So as a result, in 1959, in the so-called Hutu revolution, one part of the Rwandan population, the Tutsi was targeted again, persecuted, and killed. The 1959 Hutu revolution also led to a massive uh, displacement of the Tutsi into exile in the neighboring countries. That's where our parents went to and other parents, some people, their families moved into the neighboring countries, the DRC, the, uh, by then it was uh, Zaire, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi. So we really went all over the Rwandan people, um, moved to many parts of the neighboring countries. Now, the post-colonial period was also marked by systematic killings. So the killings continued and a persecution of the Tutsis continued uh, throughout the entire country by the government in place by then. So in 1961, in 1963, in 1973, in 1991, in 1992 to 93, Tutsis kept on being massacred. The government neither condemned these atrocities nor took any action against the perpetrators. Hate was taught in schools and the system consistently orchestrated and they uh, continued persecuting the Tutsis. This was mentioned in the area um, or the, the testimony that were given. After several failures and uh, attempts of negotiations and requests from the exiled Rwandans who requested to return back home, Yamara
none ukibaza ko miliyoni na miliyoni zaje zigataha mu Rwanda ko twakwiriyemo it is the mindset it the spirit which was um, not really a Rwandan spirit as i mentioned after several attempts by the Rwandans who were in exile and failing to be accepted back home in 1990 the RPF uh, RPA led the invasion seeking to reach a common ground with the ruling government so that the exiled Rwandan be given an opportunity to return home nta kintu kiza ko kugira igihugu niyo mwa ba mu mahanga byibuze uzikufite wanyu ugira nako gaciro kuri umunyarwanda umunyarwanda afite gaciro kuko dufite igihugu on the other hand, the ruling government continued to oppress and kill the Tutsi. They began to roll out a plan to wipe out completely the Tutsi. The genocidal government systematically trained the young people, as I mentioned in Hiramwe, and equipped them with weapons to kill Umganzi. Umganzi, the enemy, was the Tutsi. Tutsis were censured throughout the system, as the previous speakers mentioned, in schools, in the workplace and in the communities and the plans for their king continued and hatred was reinforced through media and political mobilization. The fact that uh, from April 7th, like the previous speaker mentioned, Maurice Yavivuze, in 1994, they cited the death of President Habyarimana. The killing of the Tutsi was mobilized and executed throughout the country, which demonstrates without um, and this demonstrates without any uh, doubt uh, that the genocide was planned by the then Rwandan government. We have a lot of evidences that has been gathered to demonstrate this. And the evidences that we have that this was planned, one of them to mention a few, uh, the media messages calling in Hiram and others to join the killing of the Tutsi, the speeches of the president uh, by then, uh, the, the genocidal uh, regime by then, President Sindiko Gawa mobilizing Hutu to work. Um, I think the High Commissioner mentioned about this, where he was telling people that start working, don't delay. We have to do a lot of work. So the work was to kill and not leave anyone behind. The second evidence or the third that we could mention here Besides the media messages that are recorded up to now, mobilizing Nira Hamlet to start killing, the speeches of the president by then, Cindy Kugao, mobilizing them to kill. The third, we have mass graves that have been planned earlier and that continue to be discovered up to date with hundreds and thousands of cops. So we still find uh, mass graves which were dug way back in 90s, preparing to commit this and to kill people and these mass graves were planned to kill and bury all these people massively so that they would not trace any, um, uh, we, uh, any evidence. They wanted to hide and hide out complete the evidences that this was planned. Another evidence, the testimonies of genocide survivors, like the one we have just had, but also evidences of the uh, testimonies of perpetrators, those who accept and um, ask for forgiveness, they always give the testimonies that testify this was really planned. Another evidence that we have uh, genocide memorials across the country where people in large numbers in places where they had sought refugee, they were all massacred. I think we had Maurice talking about Nyanza Chichichiro and other places, Muri Eto. Uh, there are many uh, uh, locations that we have in the country, memorial sites. If you find time to visit Rwanda, we are likely to take you around after this, uh, the pandemic that we have now. In July 1994, having stopped the genocide against the Tutsi, the Rwanda Patriotic Front established a new government and restored peace in the nation under the leadership of His Excellency, uh, the President of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. The Rwandan government abolished any form of segregation among its Rwandans and promoted safety and well-being of all. 26 years later, as we honor the memory of our loved ones, victims of genocide perpetrated against the Tutsi, we continue to fight any form of denial of genocide against the Tutsi, like the High Commissioner mentioned earlier. There are many who are still roaming out in different parts of the world, on different continents, and they still have this memory and they still keep this, so they deny 
and they had many reasons. Uh, I thank uh, Habineza uh, Jean Michel, who gave a lot of uh, write up on that, especially about denial. Why should people deny when they perform this in debris and in, in night when everyone was watching? How could this happen? How can someone deny this when it was watched over the world? And this was well mentioned and well elaborated. Keeping in mind this very dark time in our past, Rwanda continues to rebuild, unite, and renew. We want you as young Rwandans living in various parts of the world to learn about your past and I appreciate the name, our past. Yes, it is our past. We cannot run away from it. We cannot deny it. We cannot change it. We cannot erase it. We will remember, but we don't want to go back in that history. We will not be held hostage by our past to seek the truth and to find a healing and reconciliation. We want also you to own your Rwandan identity proudly, and to find a way to reconnect, to reconnect with your nation. This is one of the ways that you can reconnect back to your country. You're reconnecting to your roots. This is a wonderful idea that you have made. And I really encourage more young people in different parts of the world, wherever they are, to organize themselves and remember this, and they keep the memories fresh so that this never happens again. But you also you become goodwill ambassadors of your nation while you're speaking on behalf of your nation because without your own identity, we cannot be anything. Additionally, we encourage you to educate your peers. There are those who are younger than you. As they kept on mentioning, uh, over 60% of our young people were born after 1994 genocide against Tutsi. So they are below 25 years of age. So 60% you can imagine. It's a huge number, and we believe if you keep on remembering like this, you also inspire the young ones who are below you, the next generation uh, after you. This will keep this memory, uh, and we own this collectively, because it is our collective duty to ensure that ne never again a genocide takes place anywhere else, not only in Rwanda, while the world watches. The Rwanda National Commission for the Fight Against Genocide has done extensive research collection of testimonies and publications. They have extensive resources that can help you learn more about genocide against Tutsi. Additionally, each year we organized, like His Excellency Ambassador mentioned, High Commissioner mentioned, we organized also Itore Rojurungano, which is designed to help young people understand Rwandan history, identify with this history, and also uh, how it affects us all. Many of those who participated in this editorial have already testified and embraced their identity as Rwandans and are finding their place in the nation's rebuilding process, in our process for reconstruction. So I really encourage you to keep, um, make sure that you participate in one of them if you manage to come back home. We have many uh, events that we organize for the young people in the diaspora. We're even happy to customize whatever you would request, we would be happy to customize. Uh, the kind of program that you want, whether you want to come and do internship, whether you want to come and do sabbatical leave in Rwanda, whether you want to come and stay and tour around the country and write the history, we are happy to see how we can work together and facilitate you. And I'm happy to mention that, as I already mentioned to uh, the High Commissioner, is excellent, the High Commissioner, that we're happy to carry forward the partnership beyond the Kibuka event only, though we are happy to keep partnering on this as well. But we are happy also to progress and move forward and see which other areas that you can partner with you as a ministry and work with you and facilitate you coming home and facilitate you doing something, whatever you're doing, want to do back in your own countries. So I'm mentioning this not only for Kari, but also for other young people in Europe, in Asia, in any part of the world, in Africa as well as the continent. We are happy to see how we can be constructive and uh, really contribute as substantial the building of our nation. I also, once again, thank you very much for connecting with your roots, as I mentioned, by organizing this commemoration. Thank you 
ngo mugire uruhare namwe mwagira mu gihugu cyanyu mugire umusanzu mwatanga mu kubaka igihugu cyanyu ariko cyambere na mbere mutangiye no kumenya mu mateka kuko mu muyobozi wa gahunda nyirango ni vita angarambe wabivuze ati utaza huvuye mumenye na hugana iyo menyerera huvuye hari byinshi wakwirinda hari byinshi wafata mu nka masomo hari byinshi wagena kereza yango wagerageza gukora neza kurusha abakubanjirije nagira ngo mbashimire cyane kandi mbashabe kwihangana dukomeze kwibuka twiyubaka nakoze thank you so much thank you madam minister for your amazing speech to us and specifically thank you for going through history and giving us uh, the historical background of where genocide started all the way from the time of the kings. We uh, greatly appreciate that. And mostly we appreciate that you are able to make time. We know it's late in Kigali right now and you're able to make this time to sit through, uh, through this event. Uh, your Excellency Prosper Higiro, thank you so much as well for your remarks. Uh, we thank you for the work you're doing and thank you for helping us uh, making this happen. And uh, thank you uh, for your message in Dominion Rwanda and for all the work uh, that the embassy does to help carry and other uh, RCA groups uh, that are in Canada. Uh, I'd like to take uh, this moment uh, to invite Bonita and uh, Bonita is going uh, to give us a song and then we are going to open uh, a panel. Uh, Bonita, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. Um, I'm going to share with, uh, with everyone out there who's watching a, a song. Uh, it comes with a, it's a small piece, it comes with some words. Uh, I just want to encourage everyone and um, yeah. So basically it talks about, um, it encourages as, um, people to be careful of the negative forces targeting, especially our Rwandans, uh, to, be, um, to be careful and uh, of the negative forces targeting our unity, friendship, and what we have built. Um, and I want to also encourage that we keep loving our identity and let love define us day and night. Murum vitquan vitquan jenabara zuru kondo. Murarun jiri ne gongesta umuja hose. Rua verumuta komizu horu urangara manwani Mihajiri chiwa kanga. Muzawani viva gora, vishaka gutambi rugoru kondo. Muzawe maso, hatajiru manzu vachami chanzu. Murum vitkwan atkwan jenavara zuru kondo. Murarun jiri ne kongesta homuja hose. Rua veru muta komizo horu urangara manwani sho horu Nihajiri chiwa kanga Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bonita. And thank you for blessing us with inspiring words. Uh, right now, I would like to invite uh, Pierrick, and uh, Pierrick uh, is going uh, to be our moderator, and uh, Pierrick is going to invite uh, his panel. Uh, over to you, Pierrick. Thanks so much, Remy. Uh, first of all, I just want to, before getting into the q and I just want to thank everybody who was involved today. It's been so impressive seeing every artist um, whether it's poetry, music, really touch everybody who's watching around. It's not just people in Canada watching, it's people around the world pretty much. Um, I really want to thank all the speakers today, all the, the inf information that we've been learning today, um, learning about how to keep this tradition going, especially for our generation. We have to find a way to just keep, um, keep carrying on and reflecting every year. So really, really happy, really impressed with what's going on. Um, yes, so now is the Q&A portion 
we've been receiving questions online from everybody on Facebook and uh, Twitter. And uh, I'm just gonna go through and start with those. So the, the first couple of questions, um, I would like to gear them towards Honorable Minister Madame Rosemarie Mambazi and High Commissioner Prosper Hijiro. Uh, so the first question we have here, for Rwandan um, or, or in other countries outside of diaspora um, who don't feel very connected to Rwanda and the genocide against you, how can we the importance of understanding the past and being a part of transforming Rwanda post And um, I would like to start with um, High Commissioner Mr. Hishiro, can you hear me? I hear you. So can you hear me? Sorry, ca or can you come again? Of the, can oh, you okay. please? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Yeah. I, I was a bit distracted by something else, sorry. No worries. So basically for, for Rwandan youth who were born or grew up in Canada or any, anywhere outside of the, the Rwanda um, or who are in the, in the diaspora, how, um, how can they highlight the importance of understanding the past and being a part of transforming Rwanda um, in the future post-genocide for people who are outside of Rwanda? Uh, okay, thank you for the question. I, I think throughout the, uh, the event, we, we have touched on, main, on many aspects of the, of the, the, the answer of, to, to that question. First of all, I think for the youth, it's really, really very important to understand the root causes uh, uh, of, of the genocide against the, the Tutsis. And of course, uh, to understand uh, those causes, they, they, they have to be curious and go ask, not only read or ask their parents or just friends, but they, are, they need to, to, to really do a very, very a, a good research and, a, 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 and, and look for appropriate sources. Because you, we know there are, there are so many, many uh, controversies uh, around our history. So uh, uh, the youth need to, to go and look for the, 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 right, the right resources for, for, for that. Even uh, uh, testimonies, uh, as you know, for those who or deny uh, genocide or minimize genocide. They, 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 they have various stories. Uh, and of course, one of the, the best way is to go through, to go through associations uh, where you can share your knowledge with others and maybe, and most likely trying to see where, where, where the story you have got has been distorted or is biased. So it's not just a one way or a very simple uh, way of looking formation. I think it's, it's really because due to the complexity uh, of, of our history and uh, due to the uh, interferences and uh, because some, some Rwandese, are, are, it's a genocide against the, the Tutsis, but it, it has been committed by Rwandans. So those who, who, who have committed genocide or their friends or their allies, uh, they intend to distort the, that history. So I, I, I need to really to warn the youth, the Rwandan youth, both in Rwanda and in the diaspora to, to look for uh, very, very credible uh, uh, resources. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, for that answer. 
Um, and I just wanted to let everybody else know who's watching. This is a full panel discussion, so we will be going around and getting everyone's feedback, including Jean-Michel Habineza and Irene Dallaire. Um, so just gearing certain questions towards people. Um, so this one is for uh, Madame Rosemary Mambazi, um, Honorable Minister. Uh, the question is, how can the youth become more confident in their identity as Rwandans while um, understanding that the genocide against Tutsi is a part of their history? Thank you very much for the pertinent question. Um, I think it's almost similar to what High Commissioner had just responded. You hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, how can they be confident? Uh, while I was speaking, I think uh, I was speaking to them that we used for us who are born uh, as refugees when we were growing up, we're not confident because we didn't have a nation, we didn't have a country. Secondly, even those who were in the country by then, in, in Rwanda, like High Commissioner was talking about that he was in Kigali by then. If you're in this country, you had no liberty. You didn't have, you know, the, you didn't have the freedom, you didn't have the confidence, you didn't feel like you owned the nation. You felt like a secondary citizen or a third class citizen. So this time, we don't have in our government, in our, uh, in our leadership, we don't have anyone who is considered second or third class. We are all considered as Rwandans. So we share identity. So first of all, to develop this confidence, I understand maybe you might be asking on behalf of young people, maybe who have parents who committed genocide or had a hand in this, so they don't feel confident to come out and even identify themselves with Rwanda. This, first of all, it has to be a will within someone. It should be deliberate. It should be something they think they should. The history doesn't stop with you. You might be uh, maybe covering up or the parents are not giving you enough information and you don't want even to think about it and you avoid it and you deny yourself the opportunity to have a nation. That will not stop with you. You will have children in the future and your children's children will have also, they need to have their country. So they will need this kind of identity. The identity we are talking about doesn't stop with any one of us. It is continuous. Rwanda is bigger than any of us, is broad. It goes beyond prosperity, it continues. You know, it doesn't have a limitation. Your mother, Rwanda, Rwanda. It doesn't stop, stop with us. So when the young person at the moment feels probably, I don't feel confident. If you're not confident, you make your child not confident as well. So I really advise that first of all, they should have the will and they should take this deliberately. They could also even visit the embassies around close by where they, are, they have embassies in their countries. They can visit, find out information. If they're not yet confident to find out information from the embassy, they're not yet open yet, they can even research. We have all information online. We have Rwandapedia, we have uh, the National Commission for a Fight Against Genocide that I mentioned. We have uh, the museums, we have the national, uh, um, the, the, in Zibuzo, in Zibuzo, excuse me, I think in Kinyarwanda, unfortunately, we have a lot of memorial sites that we can get, even on, most of them are online, get information. So by being confident, you're confident because you have the relevant information. You're equipped with information. Information is power. So with the information, you become empowered and you're confident. So with this kind of information, you can even confront those uh, people who don't, uh, who want to, uh, say uh, genocide in their own way, who want to justify their means, who wants to, to say the way they want it, yet the facts are there. So I believe uh, by being, um, uh, by taking the deliberate will, the, the will to do it themselves to search, the will to search, search, soul searching, to search within their soul and say, really, if I keep on denying this, for how long? Where do I belong? I should be belonging somewhere then they can reconnect with their country, they can reconnect with their roots, they can reconnect with their history. It is our history, we cannot run away from it. We cannot deny it. Namathe Kayach. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that answer. Um, the next question I have here is, what is the most critical need that the youth in the diaspora can support um, with the rebuilding and transformation of Rwanda? Um, so, 
maybe you touched on it a bit, but if there's anything else um, that you would like to add, um, Mr. Hijiro, if, if you have anything to add to that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think there, there, there is uh, a couple of initiatives that the government uh, of Rwanda is organizing yearly. Uh, 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 but of course, uh, uh, those who have the opportunity to participate, I'm sure they, they get enough time to, to interact with other uh, youth from across the world, but also with the youth in, in Rwanda. Uh, 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 maybe the other thing is uh, the vision of the country. Uh, uh, because the vision, uh, of course, it's based on the, 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 the present, but also we have to take it into account our, our, our history. So again, uh, I think the youth, uh, as the minister has just said, uh, needs really to, 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 to have that will, get the, 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 the confidence, uh, but also try to be more, more proactive uh, because I've realized that uh, even those who are living in the diaspora, uh, some of them uh, are being told by, the, by, by their, their parents that they need to maybe to forget about one, but at a certain age, they can't run away. They can't hide. They just need to, to understand it, to know better their roots. So my advice is it's for them to join other youth because some of the youth members are at different stages of understanding the, the, the problems of Rwanda, its vision uh, for the next 20 to uh, 40 years. Uh, so I think uh, those who are, have not yet joined, they, they should join. Perfect. If I may. Yes, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I just add on. Um, first of all, what we think, the critical areas that we might need the young people in the diaspora. Uh, first of all, just to know their history, like we mentioned, so that you can know what you're defending and what you stand for. Uh, secondly, uh, is we really urge them to understand, after understanding the history, after understanding the challenges that we have right now, we want them to face the genocidal denials on the social media, on the networks, wherever they are. They always say whatever they want to say. They want to distort our history. If they know the history, they would be the forefront, at the forefront to go and confront this and provide evidences and provide the right information that would confront the genocide denials. The third uh, is their skill. We know you're skilled. You have a lot of skills that we need back home. And we've seen many young people from the diaspora coming back home, not only to work for government, but becoming a Eric, you can continue. Madam uh, Mbazi, can you unmute? I think you're still on mute. There was a connection issue there. Because I'm trying, it's muted, and it's muted from that side. You hear me? Yes, much better. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I was saying we need the skills. The skill sets that you have would be very helpful in the transformation agenda of our nation. We have seen a number of them, like I gave an example. There are those who study in engineering and water generation, and they come back home and they find a challenge that is there maybe rural water access, and they provide that kind of access that is needed. So when you connect with your country, you might even have the urge to come and visit. When you come to visit Rwanda, you might find, identify with your passion. And from your passion, you come up with something that you use your skill set to solve the challenges in Rwanda whether in providing the kind of services we need, whether in being an entrepreneur yourself, whether you're connecting Rwanda with the entrepreneurs elsewhere, 
whether bringing people, maybe medical services, maybe engineers, become a link of Rwanda with your country where you are. Mubi chiraru. You understand the bridge to be ichiraru to Rwanda na homuri. Kuko tuetu wabona ngi imbaraga ziji hugu, ngi mudia kudusha achira imbutu na mawoku. Imbutu, inga seed. Amawoku, ni imbaraga zanyi and partnerships. So there's a lot of expectations from you and don't um, uh, keep us waiting. <laughs> Thank We've you. Won. Thank you. Thank you, and I, I, I agree. There's a lot of a lot of talented Rwandans, as you can see from today, and even more. And I think we do have many tools we can use to to help to help with moving things forward. So, thank you, thank you so much for that, uh, Madame Abazi, and High Commissioner uh, Prosper Higiro. Thank you so much too. Um, and now we have more questions for the rest of our panelists. Uh, this one is geared towards Jean-Michel Habineza, and this question for you, Jean-Michel, is: What led you to start the Walk to Remember event? And in your view, why is it so important to remember? Um, thank you. Um, I would say that one of the things, uh, I would say in terms of what it, why is it important to remember? I mean, I'll, I'll go back to what I said, which is basically because uh, denial is a very, uh, it's intricate, it's, it's an important part of the genocide project. So if we, don't remember we're allowing room for denial and we're also allowing room for those who committed crimes to get away with, with that. Uh, we also remember because it's important to learn from history. Uh, it's important so that we don't repeat the same things. Um, but one of the caveat that I said is that it's not just remembering uh, events, but it's also remembering ideas. So it's not uh, just saying that uh, this is what happened, but it's also understanding why it happened. And that is understanding uh, things uh, like the genocide ideology, understanding um, things like the dehumanizing process, pluralization, and how all of those lead to, to the things that we saw. Uh, why was Walk to Remember important? Um, people might not know, but um, when we started back in 2009, one of the things that people felt was that when we talked of commemoration, um, of course, a lot of, um, there was a lot of events that were happening already but young people never participated in that. And not only young people didn't participate, but there was also this idea that when we talk of uh, commemoration of the genocide, the only people that are concerned are uh, people who are in IRG or uh, people who are survivors of the genocide. And, and I remember back in the time when you go to a school and tell people about an event, they would say, okay, they will bring you to IRG and they are the ones who are concerned. But I think that's a flawed understanding because when we talk of our past is all of us, all of our past, right? So it's all of us and the way that we are connected to it. So part of what we wanted to do is to say, hey, can we bring all young people together? Can we bring all the young people, whether they know and they're impacted by the genocide or not, can we bring them all together uh, so that um, commemorate the genocide? And, but secondly, in 2010, we added another element, which was, that we think that Rwanda has a responsibility towards the world. So part of the things was like, how do we take the lessons that we have learned in Rwanda? How do we take it all over the world? And um, so we started doing the work in all East African countries. And to date, uh, the work has happened in more than, it has happened in all, all the continents of, of the world. And it has happened, I think in 2014, we had the work in more than 25 countries, um, all at the same time. And I think it's this understanding that we, are, we have a message for the world because Rwanda, I always say Rwanda is the mirror to every man's soul that Rwanda shows what uh, evil can do, but Rwanda also shows what goodness and, and resilience and hope looks like. So we always say, if Rwandans are able to live together after the tragedy of genocide, then there is hope for the rest of the world. So our mission is twofolded to bring young people to the walk and to make them remember and learn about the history, but then also to educate the rest of the world. Because if people had known what was happening in Rwanda, then, uh, and if, if people can learn about what happened in Rwanda, then uh, there's a lesson, but there's also hope. Because I think we should never remove the fact that uh, Rwanda is such a great human story. Wow, that's 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 so great. I, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm seeing Rwanda in so many different lights today. And I, I really like what you said about how it's a way for the rest of the world to relate 
there's there's something there's like a reflection in 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 what happened and not just of course evil things can happen but how much be beauty can come out of it and and overcoming so that's that's great uh, thank you so much for that answer um the next question is also for you jean-michel and the question is what are the best tools that can be used to engage the youth in memory preservation um i think i think events such as our past are very very important our past here in rwanda uh, only last year it's an event that brings more than 2,000 young people who are less than 20 years old. So all of them are teenagers. And I think we need to support people like that. People who bring young people that are, that are very, very young and who are really thirsty to learn about their history. But the other thing too that I think is the best tool that we can do is just discussion. I think that young people have a lot of questions that maybe few allow them to ask and few are willing to answer. Because if you sit down and say, um, and say, okay, this is the history and then let's have a discussion. You will have so many, so many of them asking you questions and say, but how could this happen? Why did this happen? And, and for them, it's allowing spaces for them to even sometimes ask questions that we might think are silly, but at least we take it seriously and we allow them to, to ask all the questions that they don't have the room to ask their parents. So you'd be surprised at how many uh, know as much uh, about genocide as, as, as an American would know. So they know something bad happened in the country and that's it. But, the, but they tell you there's just a lot of silence uh, around for the questions that they have. So the other thing that I'm saying is organize, let them ask questions and let's actually have discussions that, 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 that might be messy in a way, but at least they allow them to, to, to wrestle with a lot of these things, you know? And, um, and they, because unless we do that, then it's just going to remain some sort of, they will take it as some sort of, uh, I'll tell you, you'd be surprised at how many young people think all of this is just a movie. Like many of them think that this is, uh, it sounds like a horror movie, something that happened, but that's because they have never had people who are willing to take their questions seriously and who are willing to engage them at the level that they're at. Not talk down to them, uh, but be able to engage them at the level that they're at. And using an event like this, uh, using music, using movies, using all the different tools that we can use. I think we need to be flexible on the tools, but we need to be very um, rigid on the message and make sure that everybody knows this is the history, this is what happened, but how we say it, it depends on, 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 on the group of people and whatever channel works best. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I agree, that's very important for the youth because the more informed, I guess we, my generation is, the, the better for the future. Um, so this next question is for uh, Irene Dallaire. I'll read it in both French and English so different audiences can understand. Uh, so the question, I'll just read it in English first. It's, it's um, for the youth that may, have gone, that may have gone through a challenging past, like overcoming genocide, what steps could be taken to build a hopeful future? Um, pour les jeunes qui ont peut-être vécu un passé difficile, quelles mesures peuvent-ils euh, peuvent prendre pour construire un avenir euh, avec plein d'espoir? Donc, euh, pour les jeunes qui ont vécu beaucoup d'épreuves, de, 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 de pour construire l'avenir, je pense que ce n'est pas de nier les épreuves qu'ils ont vécues, mais c'est surtout de les accepter. Euh, de, et ces épreuves-là, la plupart du temps, deviennent leur force qui va leur permettre d'avoir une certaine expérience et une certaine force qui va le, le, le pousser à, faire, à aller plus loin dans leur vie. Euh, la première chose à faire, ce n'est pas de nier les preuves qu'ils qu ont vécues, mais c'est surtout de l'accepter, mais d'apprendre à vivre avec cette épreuve. Et c'est ça qui va leur permettre d'avancer. Rester dans, le, dans, dans la confusion, rester dans... dans donc, s'ils si, si restent dans, dans, dans l'ignorance, ben, ce n'est pas vraiment l'ignorance, mais plutôt de, 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 de non-acceptation de cette épreuve, ça va les empêcher de, de pouvoir voir plus loin. Et cette épreuve-là ne doit pas être, ce n'est pas la finalité de leur vie, mais c'est surtout un passage dans leur vie qu'ils qui, qui qu ont passé. Donc, ça doit être une expérience euh, qui va leur permettre de devenir meilleur, euh, de devenir meilleur à chaque jour. Merci beaucoup. Um, and just for the for the English listeners, um, she said a very very uh, important message about staying, just understanding your past and accepting it, um, but also understanding that it's not 
something to hold you back, but it's something you can use to help propel you forward. Um, you know, not staying in complete ignorance, but also understanding exactly what happened. Um, thank you for that, Irene. Um, actually, I have another question for you. Uh, so during this time of COVID-19 with the lockdown um, and we're doing a commemoration, how can we practically support each other during this period? Um, en français, pendant cette période de confinement et isolement à cause de COVID-19, à votre avis, comment pouvons-nous nous soutenir mutuellement? Euh, comme c'est le confinement, la seule chose à faire, c'est rester en communication. Euh, c'est euh, de ne pas avoir peur de, de, de parler et de dire ce qu'on vit, qu vit, la façon que la personne, ce que la personne est en train de vivre, c'est d'être capable de le communiquer à, à des gens qui sont proches ou même pas proches, mais être capable d'en de, parler. Et c'est aussi de, de continuer euh, à, à prendre le temps de prendre des nouvelles des personnes de prendre le téléphone, euh, d'appeler les gens. Et moi, je me suis surpris à entrer d'appeler les gens que je n'ai pas parlé pendant deux ans ou trois ans pour juste savoir comment ils vont. Et juste parce que j'ai fait cette action, ils m'ont rappelé par la suite aussi pour me demander ce qui était en sécurité, est-ce que ça va bien. Donc, il n'y a pas un autre moyen qui est la communication. Et la seule communication que nous avons, c'est le téléphone, les emails. On est chanceux aujourd'hui, l'Internet est partout. Donc, c'est facile de pouvoir communiquer avec les gens d'une façon euh, moins chère et... Euh, et surtout euh, plus rapide. Donc, la seule façon de, 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 de pouvoir se soutenir, de, de surtout de s'aider ensemble, c'est vraiment garder la communication euh, avec le téléphone, avec l'Internet, avec les messages, et de prendre le temps d'avoir de, des nouvelles des, des autres personnes. Que, que certaines personnes même que vous pensez, mais prenez le temps de les appeler et de savoir est-ce que ça va bien. Ou les gens qui, vous savez, que surtout dans la période de, de, de la commémoration, que c'est difficile dans cette période-ci, mais prenez le temps de prendre de leurs nouvelles et de savoir comment ils vont présentement. D'accord, oui. Merci beaucoup pour ça. Et um, pour les anglais, 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 les And this is a great time to check up on each other. Um, even this, this moment we're in right now, this is a kind of a beautiful thing that we can do this across the globe. So take advantage of all the tools that you have. Uh, and I have uh, one more question here. This one is uh, back to you, Jean-Michel. Um, and the question is, based on your involvement with training young people, what is your hope for the next generation of young critical thinkers in Rwanda, especially you who, who dealt with the debate team and teaching that specific skill, what is your hope for, for the next critical thinkers? Um, personally, I always say that my hope is for us to understand that uh, conflict is inherent to human beings, that uh, it's okay for us to disagree, but then that violence is a choice. So being able to understand that we can find productive ways to talk um, to each other, but then also uh, at the end of the day for me, it's not about building just critical thinkers, because I think it's important, but it's not uh, the most important. The most important is how do we build an environment where all of us understand that uh, the task of rebuilding our country is so great that we need each one of us. Like there's no one who has the solution. There's no one person who is uh, the solution. It's all of us being able to learn how to think through a lot of these things that, that we have, and then also uh, being able to understand that we all bring something to the table. But the most important thing that um, I think, uh, at least when it comes to the subject of uh, the post-genocide generation, is I think that when you create, uh, when you teach a critical mind, then you are honestly creating, uh, you are reducing the number of people who will commit crime. Because when you look at what perpetrators said, they said, the reason why I did this is because I was told by my leader. And for me, what I'm saying is, let's uh, use our mind and let's use our, our ability to think and refuse to be uh, tools or to refuse to be tools for the, the ones who want to use us for different things. So um, my hope is that we'll create a generation of young people who understand that the task of building the country is so great that all of us have a contribution to bring, but then also that um, we are changing a culture and we are creating people who are not going to fall prey to propaganda and uh, hate ideology. Awesome, thank you. Thank you so much for that answer. Um, and thank you everyone. Thank you to all the panelists. Uh, thank you to High Commissioner Prosper Higiro. Thank you to Honorable Madame Rosemarie Mambazi 
Thank you to Jean-Michel Habineza and Irene Dallaire. Thank you all for, for sharing your points of view and your speeches and your information. This, this means a lot to us, especially our generation. So we appreciate that. Uh, that draws the, the end of the Q&A. Um, thank you all the, all the audience members for their questions. And uh, I'll hand it over now to uh, the next person. Uh, thank you so much, Pierrick. Thank you for such an amazing panel. And thank you to all the panelists. Uh, those were amazing ideas, good answers to all the questions of everybody who joined us. I would like to emphasize again and thank the Honorable Minister for really taking her time to be here, uh, for being in this discussion and uh, talking to the youth uh, in Canada and around the world. I know uh, you always have a lot of youth in Kigali, but it's amazing to have you talk to uh, the rest of us uh, here, uh, not just in Kigali. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you also to the Jean Habineza, Irene Delaire, merci beaucoup, and uh, His Excellency the High Commissioner. Thank you all. Uh, I would like to take this moment uh, as we are coming to an end uh, to give the last remarks uh, to Imanzi Kaitare. Uh, Imanzi Kaitare is uh, the president of CARI Toronto. Uh, welcome, Imanzi. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Remy. I uh, appreciate this. Uh, I'd just like to, to thank everyone, um, in particular um, our, our MCs, uh, Remy and Rita, for our wonderful job in moderating today's session. Um, and I would like to especially thank our, our special guest of honor, uh, the Honorable Minister. Uh, we appreciate your time in uh, coming to speak um, with us and to share those impactful remarks, uh, unpacking the history and how we could come alongside this journey of rebuilding Rwanda together. Um, it was very informative and this is something that we want to take forward um, in our countries. Um, we had the great pleasure of having representation across um, Canada today, um, across the US, um, across Europe and Africa. Um, today was a moment for us to, to come together um, and part of the takeaways from what I gathered um, is that there's power in sharing our collective story. By coming together, we are continually building a strong and resilient community. Um, so as, as what the Honorable Minister mentioned about, we have the responsibility to carry uh, the Rwandan spirit. Um, and by coming together in times such as this, um, even though we're not able to gather uh, in person, but we remember um, the genocide against Tutsi in Rwanda, and we are here to support one another. Um, so we really appreciate that. Um, and in here, in, in terms of the Canadian Association of Rwandan Youth in Canada, uh, we are extremely uh, delighted to uh, to partner and to collaborate um, with the amazing initiative that the ministry is doing um, to get the young people involved uh, through different initiatives such as Ontario, um, Youth Connect uh, and other initiatives, uh, in particular the uh, knowledge transfer and skills building and, and that's something in which we are uh, especially interested in as well in uh, continuing these conversations. So um, on behalf of the organizing team uh, of our past um, from here in Canada, but also especially our, the team in Rwanda as well. We, we really appreciate the honor uh, in having us host our past here in Canada. This is the second annual Our Past, uh, and we hope to make this um, an ongoing uh, relationship um, and connect to as many diaspora communities as possible. Um, we will share best practices um, with their other countries, uh, with the other continents as well, um, by us coming together. So we really want to appreciate the, the support of the High Commission uh, as well for, for partnering with us and putting together for this event. So again, um, this was a great opportunity for us to come together and I hope that we could um, continue uh, 
um, keeping the memory alive um, and let us never forget um, what happened uh, 26 years ago. So we are um, incredibly proud to carry this, this rugged spirit, especially for those um, that are not with us in this moment. Um, so again, we'd like to thank you, Marco Zuchane, um, and have a good night to those that are in Kigali, um, and good evening to those that are watching us um, elsewhere in the diaspora. Uh, thank you so much, Imanzi, for the last remarks. Uh, just uh, they, The moderator just uh, asked me to ask uh, for a final word from uh, uh, His Excellency Prosper and uh, the Minister. Um, apparently he forgot that question. So please, just uh, like 30 seconds each. Thank you. Your mic is Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I was <coughs> very, very impressed. Uh, this is my very first time. I participate in this hour past. As you know, uh, I arrived here in Canada last October and uh, I had the opportunity to visit just not far from Ottawa. I visited Toronto. I met many of these young people last December. I was in the context of the pandemic. Uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, at least we have been able to harness the, the opportunity of technology. We have been able again the initiative of CARI, Toronto. We have our past every President Wan, you are Mazakuka, uh, Brimaka Mazaja Mukora, and the Timukavi. I'm going to share with other uh, Rwandan youth across Canada and beyond. Yanguni is the Yangunan, and she made a Yakua minister, uh, Rosemary Babazi. Uh, Yango Kubaya, Banyanat, where I am Masa Hayose, Nichmeni to Chirkana, the level of commitment. Have a ndetse no kuri guverinoma yacu guverinoma y'u Rwanda mu gufasha no kwita ku rubyiruko rw'u Rwanda cyane cyane babaremamo icyo kizere no kugira ngo bagire ya confidence twaze tuvuga ariho banahera bakomeza guteza imbere u Rwanda rwacu so thank you very much and uh, I'm sure we will meet again for some other opportunities, Changwa in the, our past. Murakuzi-chan. So Murakuzi, High Commissioner, Kukuyo Jamburgiza, Tuashimira organizers. Uh, I've been seeing Imanzi Kaitari, Kuri emails. It's good to see uh, the name and you connect it with the face. Uh, we've been hearing. <laughs> Thank you very much for the great work. We appreciate the work you're doing. We've been following you on Twitter. We've been following you on social media to see what you're doing. This is wonderful. This is awesome. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the Rwandan youth, whether in Rwanda or abroad, uh, you are our hope, you are our strength, and you have really demonstrated what you're capable of. You are capable of a lot of things, and we have a lot of hopes in you that if Jesus is a very bit, then we will be fit. And we hope our country keep on prospering as year in and year out. And as I mentioned even earlier, that um, I liked your name, Carrie. Uh, so you can carry on with the Rwandan flag. You can carry on with the Rwandan spirit of resilience. You can carry on with the Rwandan um, Rwanda. So wherever you are, you should be proud of who you are and you should be the image of Rwanda and you should be a goodwill ambassador supporting what the High Commissioner is doing. So in conclusion, I would say you are, um, we are because you are. And tukwiza ye komuni nimbuto, nimbaraga ziji ugucha, tu mwaji ye kubushachira imbuto na mawoko, as I mentioned. Murako ze chane, turawashimi. 
murakoze cyane kubw'utumwa bwiza mutugejejeho turizera neza ko urubyiruko ruri hanze aha rwose babyumvise bari batewe mu imbaraga nibyo mwababwiye byose turashimira cyane cyane umwanya mwaduhaye ndetse no kuba ari ku ruhanga bw'ubyuma badufashije kuba ubingi ibyakoraho hari akazi bashyizemo amasaha bashyizemo kugira ngo bibashe kuba byagera kuba kuba ari kudukurikirana neza murakoze cyane kuri byo ngebye good night Fite o mugambi.